that, that'll do it. That'll do it. I'm also recording it, but I don't know if I've actually set up recording settings on this computer, so I don't know where it's going to be saved. <laughs> what's going to happen. Oh, I, I know nothing. It's fine. <laughs> so if you really want to see this one shot, you guys are in the place to see it right now. You got right one now. shot? <laughs> you better not throw away your one shot. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Yay! I'm going to do my best to stay out of the chat, though it's really tempting now that it's up on my computer. <laughs> Not going to lie. Not going to lie. It's super tempting. You have a game to run, monsieur. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to throw our disclaimer out because it feels particularly relevant tonight. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Just your friendly reminder that while we are proud of our product, we must admit none of us are actually in a professional recording studio. We are recording on a myriad of devices and internet qualities. Please give us patience if there are technical difficulties and or interruptions from pets and toddlers. We love all of you and hope you enjoy the show. Without further ado, uh, let's introduce, uh, I'll introduce the setting real fast and then we're gonna go through and introduce the characters. So the base premise of tonight's one-shot, which I am calling Once Upon a Tavern because that sounded like a catchy name, is that a group of adventurers are retiring to a quiet life of opening a tavern. And this is their opening night. Now, where this tavern is located and the, the setting are much less important than the actual adventure that this night will entail. Uh, there are likely to be many shenanigans, but before I get too deep into that, let's meet your crew. And I do mean crew, because apparently, by no fault of my input, everyone chose to be pirates. <laughs> As you can see on Acid this... consent is still consent. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Wait a minute. I mean, what? As you can see on the screen, this is our first character, uh, played by Elliot. Elliot, give us a, like a sentence about yourself, and then give us your character introduction. Oh God, I didn't know we were gonna have to talk about ourselves. You just, just you can just say I normally play whoever in the stream or whatever. Ah yes, I am Elliot, and I normally play Theo in the Legends of uh, Qtasa. Qtasa. I'm still not clear on how to pronounce it. Okay, either way, I play Theo in that. It's, it's a lot, he's a lot of fun. Um, and in in this stream, I be playing Captain McCracken, though I be neither a captain nor related to a to a Kraken. Uh, but tis me and me trusty hardy gurdy. Uh, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm dying. That's so. You're my favorite. <laughs> End of introduction. <laughs> Dramatic exit, stage left. Dramatic. <laughs> oh. Amy, Amy, go ahead and tell us who you will be playing tonight, and don't forget to give us at least one sentence about yourself beforehand. Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Amy. I, uh, in the past, have uh, played Minklaw. Um, I am tonight playing Cecil, spelled S E A S A I L. Um, <laughs> I am, as you can see here, very blue, very pointy-eared, um, but I am, for today, because I am working, you know, uh, not wearing my usual adventures gear, but rather my, uh, sick bartending getup, which is, uh, you know, um, a, uh, white button-down shirt tied up into a crop top with the sleeves rolled up so you can see my, like, sick shark lizard tattoos all up and down my arms. Uh, everyone should see them and ask me about them because they're custom and they're very cool uh i'm also wearing a tie which is definitely worse than a scarf don't care for that but i was told it's business appropriate however it's business up top party on the bottom i still got this whole like i don't know whatever this belt thing is going down down there i got thigh high red boots i'm ready i'm ready for it uh let's do pranks you still have the bartending sword? I'm sorry to interrupt, I had to ask. <laughs> yeah, that's for cutting limes. Oh! The bartending sword! Oh, Lord! Oh. I'd be sure to order a margarita. Karina, 
give us a sentence about yourself, and then audience, brace yourself for this introduction. Uh, <laughs> I I do not Did apologize. She actually prepared. Of time. Um, I am always prepared. Hello, I am Karina, or some people know me online as Star. Um, I I'm the one who plays Narcissa in the Katasa stream. Um, and, uh, so, as you see here, she's wearing a very tavern wench sort of outfit, and that shock of pink hair, because, I mean, you know, when you're a retired adventurer, you can do whatever you want with your hair. Um, and it's vastly contrasting to the tan and cayenne shades of her fur, so she's got this bright blue fish-patterned apron trimmed in lace, and you will probably hear, um, the bell around her neck before you see her in the tavern. It gives her, a, it, it gives a distinct, charming chime that pierces through even the rowdiest crowds of the hubbub that happens in the room. Um, and she would flit about the tavern floor, um, equal parts flirting and high spirits, uh, and uh, she would introduce herself as Ah, mais oui, bonjour mes amis, je m'appelle, ah, that is, you may call me Brigitte, Brigitte de Avignon, at your service. Uh, no, seriously, I will be your service this evening here at the Once Upon a Tavern, as you can probably tell by my luscious fur, I am, mm, how do you say, uh, Tabaxi? It is not just my noble bearing that puts me head and shoulders above the rest. At 200 centimeters, or 6 foot 6, if you cannot pick me out of a crowd, then you must not be looking, shall we? But if your eyes are not on me, what could they be looking at anyway? Very nice. And last but certainly not least, uh, Casey, give us a sentence about yourself and whatever you've got for a character introduction. Hey, I'm Casey, and I usually play Saxon uh, on the server. Uh, tonight, though, uh, speaking of heads and shoulders above the rest, I will be playing the Goliath uh, uh, Javoix, or he, as he likes to be called, at Jax. Um, so, yeah, I I like to clean things a lot. Uh, I clean things on the ship, and now I'm here, and I clean things with my mop. It has gone with me everywhere. I am a little bit happy to be retired because now I can keep my shirt pristine white, and as well as uh, everything else shiny clean, I can keep my head that way as well. All right. Uh, your opening night is going fairly well. A few people have trickled in, but it's still very early in the day. Uh, it's only about two, maybe three in the afternoon. Um, but yeah, this would be a time where I would like everyone to roll initiative for me. Well, we're rolling initiative and putting it in the chat. I am going to warn those watching in the stream that you will be seen a little bit behind the scenes because you're going to be seeing what's on my screen as the dungeon master. Uh, normally we have the person in the stream uh, running as a player. And so it's going to be a little bit of a different experience, but potentially also, uh, I don't know, I think educational is a really generous term. But you'll see, you'll see a little bit more kind of how the games are run and how some of the illusions are put together. So can I add a bonus to my initiative because I'm a cat? Uh, yes. yes Excellent. Oh, wow, guys. <laughs> Prusheet's apparently, uh... <laughs> well, one I of told you I couldn't roll. <laughs> <sighs> Alright. I mean, it's okay, I'm a Tabexi. Like, I don't know what you expect. <sighs> Brigitte, what what are you doing? Um, well, uh, currently at present, I am uh, bringing a <laughs> I say this lightly, a drink over to uh, this monsieur over here. Uh, would you remind me what they ordered? Uh, ordered hot tea. Oh, a most excellent choice at this time of the afternoon, monsieur. Here you are, is your hot tea. Is there anything else I can get for you right now? Purpose to life, maybe? Oh, I mean, you know, that's a little expensive, but I can go ask the cook and see what I can do. He gives you a very puzzled look. Was that a no or a yes on the purpose to life? Uh, sure, 
if you sell it. Blasted new taverns. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. I'll be right back. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> um, Nick Kraken. Oh yeah, sorry. I was reading a self-proclaimed dissertation on hurdy gurdy tuning. <laughs> 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 like in real life, or uh, yes, yes, I Research. IRL. <laughs> but actually, Captain McCracken has one that's co-signed by him um, <laughs> that he is currently yes, fluffing I, the I papers did, of. I did write the treatise on how to tune the hardy gurdy. Yeah, pocket Bible. I can't take a drink during this game. Of course, I can. I can actually write, so I just <laughs> spoke the dictation about how to tune the hardy gurdy. So. It was called it in Bible sheets because she has perfect handwriting. Uh, but in all seriousness, uh, McCracken will be in his little corner, um, probably on his little stoop, and he's he's just going to be tuning his hurdy gurdy and playing it. Um, and can you even? Tune uh, I I twice? personally, what was that? Can you even tune such a blight? Uh, yes, actually, you can. <laughs> um, surprisingly, <laughs> as I said, there's uh, apparently dissertations on this. Um, <laughs> oh, yes, it is a fairly complex. One of them is Hurdy Gurdy Maintenance, and the other one is Hurdy Gurdy Tangents Natural Tuning. <laughs> so, not making this shit up. Uh, pardon my French. Um, <laughs> so, apropos, considering. Um, <laughs> Um, so yeah, he's he's just gonna be chewed in his hardy gurdy, and then at some point he'll he'll dive head and shoulders into an old sea shanty that'll make the lasses blush. Uh, and the roll lads a, roll, roll a um roll a performance check. Well, I don't quite know how to break this to you, but that that, that is a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Not even care what the is. Yeah. That's the natural one. <laughs> um, <laughs> the tuning is there quite is good. a cup of hot tea being thrown at you. How do you respond? <laughs> well, free tea. <laughs> <laughs> we have a strict policy that there is no drinking on the job. <laughs> I am well, in really trouble alcohol. then. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we have to put the drink on your tab. Very, very seriously, Kraken, um, you, you are having hot tea flung at you for a 17. Like, how are you responding to this situation? With an open mouth. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, what would I roll to, like, try and mind. dodge the, the cascade of hot tea? Um, well, uh, is dodging tea ancient and worthless knowledge? I feel like that would be a cantankerous check. I feel like it is a cantankerous <laughs> check. I will accept a cantankerous check. All right, it's, it's like not, going in jail. It's not that you, it's not that you dodge the tea. It's that you glare at the tea hard enough that it avoids you. Ah, well, I rolled a six for glaring at tea, so whatever that gets me. A six. Yes. Uh, including my modifier. Full in the face. Please mark down that you have taken two damage. Very Ooh. good. It burns. The Kraken looks unsurprised. <laughs> this is clearly happening before. <laughs> Doesn't he have been on the ship all the time? Um, the tea came from Brogan. Uh, <clears throat> oh man. I purpose to life better get out here quick. Ah, <laughs> uh, um, uh, sure, sure, sure. There is a customer who is asking for, uh, a, a vous dans la vie, uh, uh, purpose to life, and I feel as if you, being our bartender, would be the perfect person to be able to provide a drink that might somehow provide them with a life purpose. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 absolutely, I've made a purpose to life before, that's absolutely correct. I am on the wrong side of the bar. <laughs> uh, you know, I was going to say something, but like, you know, it's your bar, you do whatever you want. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do exactly that. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to vault over the bar. Brigitte like is do. nodding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get out a tall glass, and I'm going to start pouring various liquors in judiciously. Okay, um, Amy, I know you know your liquors. Tell me what you're putting in this. Um, 
I mean, if you were gonna give somebody a purpose to life with a drink, what would you put badly, in it? Badly give someone a purpose to life with a drink. Yeah. So, so here's... Yeah, okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um... <clears throat> I'm, I'm thinking of like, you know, you know, when you're like a college student and you go and there's a party and they're like, hello, here's the jungle juice. And you're like 90% sure that it's just Kool-Aid. And then they dumped in like whatever cheap vodka, tequila, like spiced rum, which doesn't belong in there, but it's no. in there anyway. Yeah, it is. Uh, not gin because that's too classy, but like. Yeah, I'm a student that buys gin. <laughs> yeah, uh, Kevin, I think and that doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, all all that probably some other types of rum, maybe three whole different types of rum, and then like you know a Red Bull. It's basically that. It's a really horrifying color of like electric purple. I'm gonna say. All right, roll me a the big pour. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's actually a, uh, that's a 21. <laughs> oh, that is such a large pour that you're doing there with that drink. All my pours are large pours. <laughs> except oh, the ones I on think... my face. Those are well-kept pours. <laughs> oh, yes. No, I can see. What is your day? I will have to ask you your regimen later. Did you finish? Uh, I put an olive in it, and then I... <laughs> Is the olive like like? Did you just grab an olive and put it on in the drink, or is it like in a on a, a toothpick and like? Oh no, it is a loose olive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody post in in the in the um Discord chat for all of our games that if people aren't here, they need to get here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it might scare them away at this point. Um, okay. Uh, no. Ah, uh, yes. I see. The olive is for taste. Excellent. And Brigitte will. Uh, uh, Before you make... walk back across the floor, Brigitte, we are going to check in That's good. with Jax. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jax, you see, come barreling out of the back room, and he goes, "I heard someone yell. Was there a spell?" Did we have someone leave? And he's like looking at all the tables. Oh no, uh, Javois, Monsieur Javois, it is over there with Mon Capitan. Uh, you might want to mop up his face a little bit. Okay, I got it. And uh, he like picks up some empty cups set on his way over. <laughs> and he comes over to start cleaning up and. He pulls out like a rag and starts wiping uh, McCracken's face. Then <laughs> it burns, but not as much as when the Kraken took me leg. Uh, did the do you have a wooden Mulca leg? Mulca oh no, he doesn't. You have, okay, yeah, he, has, sure. he, has, he, has, he has two very real legs. <laughs> <laughs> It was actually like an octopus that just like bit him. Wooden leg named Smith. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, how, how bad does his instrument look off? How, do, how bad does the hurdy-gurdy look? Do you think that needs cleaned up some? Oh, no. It's... It's fine. <laughs> uh, Jax will give you something, something kind of a worse. long stare and then nod to you and say, Well... Yeah, it is an ocean hurdy-gurdy. It's water-resistant. <laughs> You know where to find me if you need anything. Yar. <laughs> oh, I was using WASD versus the arrow keys to move my character. <laughs> <laughs> and he starts heading back. Do you have any dishes? I have many dishes, but they're all clean, I hope. <laughs> all the dirty ones are out there. I haven't... I haven't dirtied these yet. Okay. Right? And Jax heads off to the back <laughs> to clean dishes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Bridgette, I need you to roll a d10. Oh, we. Oui. Um, that is an eight, Monsieur. An eight. 
Excellent. So it's about three o'clock in the afternoon, right? And it's opening night, but it's 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. This checks out. Always. Mm -hmm. Bursting through the door comes six odd figures. Once I paste them on the field. <laughs> Some of my characters in other games are, are flinching right now. I just need uh -huh. you to know that. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Hey! <laughs> it's going to take all of my power to not drop into that voice instead. <laughs> Luckily, Brigitte's very different from any of the characters that have seen um, these, so I'll be alright, I'll be alright. This one, that seems to be the leader and is also mostly translucent, floats over to the bar. You want some clear liquor to go with that clear body? No. <laughs> We would like to rent a room. We have a uh, celebration. Did we do that here? Hey, Bridget! Uh, Do we uh, want rooms? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe we have one over in the corner. She will the point at this across door. The room. No sacrifices in the rooms. I hate cleaning up the blood. Uh, yes, we must ask that you uh, uh, sign a contract that I believe uh, Jax has somewhere on his person. Oh, yeah. Here, sir. And he, like, pulls out a piece of paper that specifically says that bloodstains are your own problem. Clean up after yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get the room ready for you. We were not going to do a sacrifice today. Those are only on Tuesdays and alternating Thursdays. What day of the week is it? That's an excellent question. Please roll a 1d7. <laughs> not gonna lie, Brigitte also had that exact same question. Um, what day is it anyway? <laughs> Wait a minute, a d7? Yeah. There you there go. go. Really funny. It's, it's uh, Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday is an awesome night for an opening night for a party. Wait, wait, so it's Tuesday, so it's Sacrifice Tuesday. It could be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is Tuesday. Is it? <laughs> You're asking the wrong. You're just. I don't know. I'm not convinced. He goes to pick up the pin, and his hand goes through it. And then he looks embarrassed. Do you need me to forge your signature? Because I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> the demon looks you dead in the eye. That would be excellent. Thank you. Uh, you realize, he says, that means that you are responsible if they do something through this room. It's not my signature, though. Uh, it is you <laughs> signing the paper. It's a magical contract. It's going to be responsible for you. Okay, listen. I know a thing or two about magical contracts, and that's mm -hmm. not how it works. Okay, but like this magical contract and the ones that you <coughs> signed are two very different things. Okay, fine. If something goes horribly wrong, I will help Jax clean it up later. All right. We're going to take it out of your paycheck. She's getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, am I getting paid? I've just been drinking. It's fine, Room it's fine. Ready. I don't sign it, I just draw a little cartoon demon. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna need a charm check on that. Because it could be a caricature. That's a 23! <laughs> it, it's great. The demon is immensely pleased. He drops I some like... black obsidian coins on the table that look as translucent as he is. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, slide them toward me. I don't really know where to put them, so I just leave them on the bar top and watch them carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so all of the, uh, the demons that have just come in are going uncomfortably close to many of your other patrons and sniffing them occasionally. This one is sniffing this guy with his beard. No sacrifices! <laughs> <laughs> ah, here you are, monsieur. Uh, you'll have to excuse our Ken Tinker's friend over there. Um, this is the Boudin Lafie. 
It, if, if it doesn't give you lab puppies, I don't know what will. He's rolling a constitution saving throw because he chugged that sucker. He's fine. But he, he put a smile on his face. Ah, oh, see? He chokes on the olive and dies. <laughs> <laughs> he got, yeah, a, he got a 17. He's fine. <laughs> For a split second, when she realizes that he drank the olive at whole, she <laughs> <laughs> got... There's that like hairline fracture in the expression when you're like, hey. uh, but he appears to not have you know choked on it. So like, all right, that's fine, whatever. Um, uh, okay. Uh, hmm. What are my skills again? Um, go look at him. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, can I make uh, a a <laughs> flirt check with uh, this individual to get them away from said patron and into their room? Uh, yeah, but you gotta roleplay it. Ah, uh, most excellent. Um, uh, what is that? Which which one is? I uh, hold on. Scroll Roll it first, in. and then roleplay it. Okay, yeah, that's probably a better idea. Tbh. Um. Okay. Um. Also, that patron, by the way, looks like a large winged person. Excellent. Nice excellent. Stoop in their back. Um. Okay. This is a. What what is my bonus to um, flirt plus two? So uh, this is a sixteen. So it's not completely terrible. Ah, uh, uh, Monsieur, what are you doing over here? I thought that you rented the uh, room over there. Oh, sorry, madam. It's uh, just our birthday party. We need some uh, entertainment. Ah, yes, if you want some entertainment, may I, re may I recommend uh, Mon Capitain? He would be uh, most pleased, I am sure, to go and play his instrument in the other room for the foreseeable future. The, uh, the Vrock, um, as he's passing by the captain, gives him a sniff. Oh, yeah, he'll do it. This smells great. Ah, yes, just like the sea. Uh, does the, this creature have, uh, like, a jacket on or anything? No. Okay. Well, Jax will pull out the chair for him. <laughs> and uh, push it back in because, like, he's very careful that he doesn't want the wood floor in that room to be scratched by these chairs. <laughs> yes. Or the talons on the papers. Yeah. I keep telling you, we can get those darn floor protectors. I'm sorry if you hadn't made them out of yarn, I wouldn't have felt compelled to, you know. It's not tear yarn, them they're apart. doilies. <laughs> <laughs> yarn, doily, aren't they the same thing? Whenever you pull them apart with your cards and you're just like, you have with you. You always mock my art. <laughs> oh, I think your art is lovely, that's why I shred it. That's what you do to good art, right? What better way to express my love for your art than to tear it apart? Darn. Is anyone else gonna try to save any of the other patrons? I mean, uh, Brigitte, we'll go ahead and head over here. Uh, if, if someone else would like a chance to do so, feel free. Yeah, ja Jax would come over to one and like tap him on the shoulder and be like, I have your room ready. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Uh, your your room, sir. It's, but it's not uh, my right. birthday. It's his birthday. He points at this one. Uh, do you want a birthday well, shot? I'll get you a birthday shot. Y'all want shots? I can do cake shots. <laughs> <laughs> well, what would be fun is if we went in there and then you guys like hid and you could jump out at him. Yeah, give me a relevant role. Give me a super promotable role. <laughs> yeah. That is a 17. <laughs> you know, that's great! He, for the flap of his wings, he flies over your that's head right. and walks into the room ahead of you. And Jax runs in to pull out a chair for him. <laughs> Doosh, 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 because he's a Goliath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cecil yeah. is pouring five shots and is trying to decide whether or not to pour a sixth shot because the other guy <laughs> cannot hold a pen and probably cannot hold a shot glass. <laughs> can't hold a pen, can't hold his drink. That's so sad. <laughs> and hold his liquor. But <laughs> don't. 
Um, a Kraken will go ahead and talk to the one just right in front of him, and he'll sort of be like, Oh, there's no better way to celebrate her birthday than with a lecture on hurdy gurdy shooting. <laughs> Did you know, for instance, that Baroque duets for hurdy gurdy yields the awkward knowledge check? Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> But they never got to hear what intervals are awkward and baroque tuning for hurdy gurdy. <laughs> the best the way to killing them, Dallas. I have to finish the sentence. <laughs> the best way to celebrate a birthday. <laughs> uh, that is an eleven for ancient and worthless knowledge. <laughs> you you definitely know your nonsense. <laughs> oh, it's not nonsense, Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> it's the thirds and six. That's what you must avoid in baroque tuning. <laughs> I told you when playing with another hurdy You know what they say, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. Uh, let me go get my list real quick. I'll be back. <laughs> I heard Anna through Dallas's mic. Uh. <laughs> uh, uh, the thoroughly confused demon is now walking in circles around you. Thirds and sixths, lad. Don't you forget. That's <laughs> like the black dot all over again. Beware the thirds and sixths. Are the devil's intervals. <laughs> Hurdy gurdy discourse. That's the quality entertainment we bring to this channel. I and mean, that's a true fact too. <laughs> because... We're educational. Educational. Oh man, I am. I <clears throat> remind me never to like drink anything so on stream. So what are you gonna again. do now? Now with um this this demon circling you. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pied piper him towards the room with everyone else. Definitely and when would have heard that it is this demon's birthday. I yeah, it... gurdy gurdy that it was. No, that's. Wow, oh, that's a reach. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't even stand behind that one. <clears throat> so yeah, he's gonna he's gonna try and lead this guy over here and uh, you know, keep talking about hurdy gurdy stuff the whole time, just to of sort course, of, of keep, him, keep him interested with big quotation marks. Seeing them uh, head over there, Jax is gonna quietly go to the others and say, "Hey guys, he's coming." <laughs> and then head out. <laughs> Okay, McCracken, you're leading it, him into the room, right? Uh, not necessarily. I think I'm just gonna sort of stand outside and go, you go in, lad, I'll go to the bar and be right back. Okay, he goes in, and there's like saloon doors on this, is what I'm imagining. So he pushes through the doors, and there is an eruptuous sound that sounds somewhere between an explosion, someone squeaking a balloon, and a record scratch. Oh, they be singing! <laughs> <laughs> McCracken would know Claude be singing when you heard it. Happy birthday to ye! <laughs> With hurdy gurdy accompaniment. <laughs> Just the pitch, only the A. <laughs> I mean, I can't split my voice in twain. Uh, Everyone knows the Hardy Gurdy has two point. drone pitches. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh, it's okay. <clears throat> the uh, Vrock does look back out the door. Aren't you coming? Timid Kraken. Oh no, you'll be able to hear the hurdy gurdy from anywhere in this fight establishment. Don't you worry. But but you do, you don't you don't understand. We 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 need you for the celebration. I said no sacrifices. <laughs> I didn't say sacrifices. Mm, but you looked like you did. <laughs> Cecil is bringing shots. <laughs> Brigitte is rounding up the other demons at once uh, as soon as Cecil leaves the bar. Yes. Okay, the birthday boy is going. Bur boy, birthday person is c d demon devil. Birthday I don't know, demon. man. <laughs> <laughs> the birthday demon is going to be celebrating with the shards. You better get in there because I'm a cat. <laughs> and Dexter just thinks to himself, 
This always happened on the ship, too. They forget to man the wheel. <laughs> and he steps behind the bar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I want to I wanna roleplay an adventure of y'all on the high seas now. Same characters. Absolutely. I mean, yes. <laughs> well, she was raised in the plane of white hair, so, like, I assume that she spent most of her life um, on the... <clears throat> okay, Kraken <clears throat> and Sea Sail. Yes. Yes. You both are being somewhat ushered into the room by the demons coming through. You may attempt to resist this. Oh, absolutely not. I'm going in. Excellent. Have fun storming the castle! <laughs> <laughs> as long as I have me trusty hardy gurdy Nothing can go wrong if are you, you Are you going inside, then? Excellent. Uh, yeah. Make sure that they don't scratch the floor. If you hear screaming, come get us. <laughs> Cecil is always screaming. Closes the door behind them, even though it's an automatic swinging door with that ominous, <laughs> ominous air. Mm -hmm. oh, we'll get back to you in a second. Uh, Bridget. Uh, roll a new character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't even have a chance to save you. That would be so sad. <laughs> Roll a d20. Now roll another <laughs> d20. <laughs> uh, yes. We? <clears throat> what you doing? Uh, we just going around to the other patrons and making sure that they are happy, having a wonderful evening here at the Once Upon a Tavern. Uh, this woman walks up to the bar. <clears throat> Yes, I would like an elvish sunset. Be sure you make it green. Uh... <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he kind of carefully lays his mop up against the bar, and he starts <laughs> looking at stuff for anything that might be green. <laughs> and he'll probably pick out, like, three different things to put in it, along with the green stuff. No survival. <laughs> I'm sure they've got some like Midori back there. <laughs> like, you know. Like he, he's never served before. That's a five. <laughs> what what kind of glass do you put it in? Uh like, There's more than one type? <laughs> <laughs> like uh, a sunset sounds like an alcoholic drink and uh we we've always used mugs, so <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That, that sounds like a good thing. Just like your standard wood. Is it pure Looks alcohol, like or are there any mixers in it? Do you tell him? <laughs> <laughs> because McCracken could be very interested in this drink. Just <laughs> Cecil's not there, but is proud. And, and he, he actually, like, picks up uh, his mop first, and then he hands her the mug. It's like... <laughs> Half filled with probably alcoholic drinks because he doesn't know where from the mixers are kept, and he just grabs stuff from the same area. <laughs> she takes it, sniffs it, looks at you kind of funny, walks back over to her corner, <laughs> muttering something to the extent of, "Never been served one in a mug before." <laughs> <laughs> then you've needed <laughs> uh, glass is very breakable on a ship okay <laughs> I, I don't like sweeping up the glass uh, that's uh, why they're kept it behind the <laughs> counter Kraken uh, talk to me yes uh, what's going on with these demon fellows uh, they're all singing <laughs> Like, you think it's so he's a jolly good fellow, but in Infernal. <laughs> Not an experience you want to repeat. Ah. So I provide accompaniment, but I don't join in. Okay. I, I need a performance. The, the hurdy-gurdy can only play two pitches without being retuned. Yeah. Uh, so they're going to have to match my pitch. I need a performance check. Okay. That is an 11. You are convincing enough that they do shift pitches to join you, though it's still awful. 
None of them are particularly gifted singers, and they all seem to think they are. I mean... Oh, I want to make a comment so bad. <laughs> <laughs> would Captain Kraken make a comment? No, but I would. <laughs> um, You're allowed, Elliot. Uh, share your thoughts with the class. Uh, 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 share your thoughts with the group. Uh, McCracken, McCracken says nothing. He's probably hard worse on his ship. <laughs> It will never be as bad as the time I charmed all those Kraken. <laughs> You've never heard singing until it's been sung in literal madness. It's <laughs> my favorite kind. <laughs> literal madness. Uh, Ciso. Yes? What are you doing while this is transpiring? Uh, once the shots have been handed out and, uh, either shot or left on the table or perhaps dropped through his translucent demon hands. Uh, Cecil they, is they attempting... They've all been shot. They've all been shot. They've Dope. Been shot. Uh, the, the bearded fellow is sniffing you with his beard. <laughs> They've all been shot just like me crew. <laughs> <laughs> Cecil is attempting to um, dance along, but um, having seen this, uh, it's, it's a snaky beard, yes? Yes, it's a, it's a live snaky beard. It's a live snaky beard. Um, have any of you seen Bride and Prejudice, where Mary does the the horrible snake dance on, <laughs> <laughs> where she's like dropped to the floor and the hands are up, making like snake faces and just kind of like up in people's faces? It's like that. Um, and for whatever really bad beat there is, it's somehow off. <laughs> It's almost harder to be off on a bad beat. A single <laughs> tear rolls down McCracken's cheek. You're not sure if it's from happiness or true terror. McCracken, or McCracken, we're vibing. From the tea that was thrown in his face. <laughs> we're vibing, McCracken. Come on, vibe with us. Vibe, vibe, Captain, vibe. I already be playing. <laughs> I'm gonna well, need to. You're vibing. You're vibing. That's fair. Well, this is. Do you know happening. how much focus it takes to turn this hand crank? <laughs> I, I truly don't. I don't know what focus it's all in is. The wrists. <laughs> well, in Dallas, you let this happen. I know. <laughs> Whilst all this is happening, merely because of initiative order, I need McCracken to roll a d10 for me. Oh God! Now I have to find a d10. Um. The dice pile is letting me I down. thought about making it a d12, but you know. That's a 5. Do I add any modifiers? No. And that is a 5. Excellent. <clears throat> Let me go grab some tokens. From the secret, super secret page. Everyone, go to the Twitch and look real quick. I was going to say, <laughs> if people are snooping in the Twitch, they're going to get a little bit of a clue of what might be coming. I do not know what this Twitch be. <laughs> Much it's like that Cecil, thing I that Cecil is doing right now. <laughs> Isn't that baby Yoda at the door right now? <laughs> so three the child figures, is here. Three figures step into the bar. All are wearing obnoxiously low hoods and carrying knives where people can openly see them. They're wearing strappy leather outfits, of course, in black. And they look around for the shadiest corner in the bar. Um, as soon as Brigitte sees these people, can she make a sneak roll to see if she, they're, like, from a guild she knows? <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, this, this is great, this is great. That is a... Where is my sneak modifier? That is a 22... <laughs> Oh, these are definitely represent representatives of the uh, Thieves Guild. Oh, most excellent. What uh, uh, what phrase um, would be the appropriate phrase with which to open with the Hey, I know who you are for this particular Thieves Guild? Stabbed a bloke today? <laughs> uh, uh, Alright. <laughs> 
you okay, mean I mean, the, you know, after the uh, Brigitte finishes whatever conversation that she's having with this person, which probably involves, you know, drink and or food and how good of a time that they are having, um, she will saunter her cat self over to this table and go, Stop the bloke to die! <clears throat> Only every time might reaches out for a secret handshake. Um, obviously returns the said secret <laughs> handshake. <laughs> Tip of her tail slightly twitching. <clears throat> You're a bit pretty for guild work. Oh, I mean, I was not always looking this good. What's that I see sticking out of your pocket, eh? Ah, uh, uh, are you perhaps familiar with uh, firearms yourself? Oh, I've given them a time or two. Mmm. Well, you may look, but you cannot touch. And she will uh, pull out the flintlock that is, whose handle was very obviously sticking out of her apron. Seems, you know, mundane enough. <laughs> I have been known to shoot the breeze every once in a while. What can I get you fine gentlemen this evening? Um, two of them order beer and one of them orders wine. Are they any more specific than that? No. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay, I will be right back with your drinks in two shakes of a... Mm, how do you say it? Uh, cat's tail. <laughs> it does not take half of the perception that you are capable of to realize that these are junior members of the guild. They likely <laughs> just got their commissions. Oh, babies! <laughs> um, Jax, I forgot. I need you to roll a D100. A D100? Yeah. That never ends well. What's this about? <laughs> the drinks are on a you, potions you table. You serve a drink. I don't know anything about serving drinks. Neither does your barkeep. <laughs> <laughs> I sure don't. <laughs> That's a 79. A 79. Let me, let me, let me find what a 79 Now, does this count for both drinks? What was the other drink you served? Well... No, I served one earlier. You served no, one then, earlier, and I forgot to roll it, so... No, th it? this is opening night, and since no one's offered a birthday drink yet, uh, Jax was repeating the drink. Oh, yes, Take yes. Please roll it again. That, that's what he's been working on back there. That's a 12. Um, as you're watching, the elf that you served the drink to takes a sip of it and disappears. <laughs> Just with the sound of a bubble popping. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> no refund. Yeah. Jax leaves the second green drink. Over there <laughs> in the mug, <laughs> and uh, calls out and says, "Bridget, did did those guys want anything?" Ah, uh, Mary, I am coming to tell you that they would like uh, two beers and wine, and she will make a point to point <laughs> to <laughs> a, a beer. <laughs> Jack Jax looks very relieved when you say beer. He he's been on the show. He knows this. He, he goes over to the keg is. with the mugs and like fills those two up and he And then she and points to a wine and oh. a glass. <laughs> I know that you do not care, but you know, if it breaks and you have something else to clean up You know it, that's what you love to do. It, you see him like Pick up this wine glass with like the tips of his fingers. <laughs> oh yes, good job, good job. Yes, it is just like that. And then whenever you pour the wine, do not hit the corner of it too hard against the rim of the wine glass. Yes, just like that. Mhm. Mm and uh, he's like looking at the cork and can't decide what to do with it. So he hits it on the side of the bar. Oh no, no, no! And then he, pours the oh. wine out. Oh. And then he starts mop, mopping up whatever <laughs> spilled from the broken top of the wine glass. Oh, when I said make a mess, I did not mean right now. Okay. <laughs> Brigitte and is checking the wine three glass for, for glass to make sure that we <laughs> did that he didn't pour any extraneous pieces into the wine glass. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> 
There, there you go. Ah, uh, thank you, Jax. Or actually, she would call you. Ah, uh, thank you, Zavala. You are a tweet. She will go back over here. And he kind of looks down the lawn and says, it's Jax. <laughs> <laughs> not not loud enough for Richard right. to hear, but... <laughs> <laughs> and he puts the broken bottle back on the shelf. <laughs> What well, here are your two beers, and here is the wine for your. <sighs> you know that this is opening night. You are not supposed to bring any trouble into our establishment on opening night. You know that. Tr tr trouble? Mm hmm. They both shrug. There was three of you, and now there are only two. I can not no, do he's many things. My Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm she like gives them um the the cat sus face look because I'm a cat. Um uh -huh, uh -huh. and it's just like mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not stupid. <laughs> she will put the third glass down where it should be, where that other person should be. <clears throat> and then turn tail and uh the the her tail flicks at them as she walks away. Um roll something equivalent to a perception check. Uh, I mean, I see everything because I'm a cat. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Roll no. Uh, because I am a cat. I, I see everything because I am a cat. Well, uh, that is 18. 18? You mm -hmm. do see the third character sneaking back with an arm full of food from the kitchen. Okay, if he comes out to really upset at you, I am pointing him your direction, alright? Hmm? What? No, I paid for this. Uh, mm-hmm. Did you actually? Yes. She said, the continual cat stare of the unblinking stare at said person. <laughs> I was not born yesterday, you know. No, of course not. Yes, and you know... You have been born yesterday. <laughs> And you know that uh, uh, you should not be trying to pull the wool over someone's eyes that uh, knows your guilt, correct? Oh, they don't mind. Or do they not? I will have to uh, be sure that I inform Jacques of uh, such uh, on the morrow then, that they uh, let him know that uh, his guilt no longer minds that um, uh, you uh, attempt to come into uh, an establishment that he has helped put together and uh, steal from us. Mm. You're pretty sure, especially at the name drop of the guild leader, that the, the young man in question wet himself? But he's keeping a really firm face on. Oh, that is so cute. You know I can smell that, right? He so says it. Ah, la petite. Make sure that you pay for that before you leave, or uh, you will not have seen the last of me. Turns away and, and goes this way. <laughs> After she hands him his wine. <laughs> Uh, actually, I, I'm not gonna lie, she's gonna come over <laughs> to make sure <laughs> that uh, <clears throat> sacrifice is not occurring. <clears throat> yeah, real quick, before we get to that, back in mm -hmm. that room, uh, the singing had finished, and uh, all the demons are, are looking between Cecil and McCracken very uh, hungrily. I'd like to honor the birthday boy with a special song, <laughs> if I might be so bold. <laughs> and with that, without waiting for permission, he's going to launch into his famous rendition of My Good Friend the Demon Eating Kraken. Very popular sea shank. Sure. And I'd like to roll my uh, special ability. Do it. Okay, okay. It's my, that my is favorite. A 23, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 So as McCracken is singing his uh, tale about a friendly demon-eating Kraken, uh, <sighs> Dallas, I hope you have a token, because one appears. <laughs> I got you, boo-boo. This is why he gets the big bucks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I'm dying. Uh, I'm, I'm dead. Mm. 
What now? Sick him. <laughs> you think you have control over it? It's a friendly <laughs> demon eating kraken. He did specify that. Did specify I have it written down. I did. My good yes. friend, the demon eating kraken, was the name of the song. Yeah, the old classic sea shanty. <laughs> it's classic. Um, y'all should make yourself scarce out of that room. It's about to get violent. The yeah. kraken gracefully bows out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Tissel, would you be so kind as to rescue our dear friend Zevoir from behind the bar? Uh, he broke one of the wine bottles, and it's kind of early for that sort of thing, you know? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, don't go in the room. I was yeah, I'm, I'm a coming. Out. I'm a coming. I, uh, I salute the Kraken, and I say, esteemed work colleague, and I <laughs> bounce out. <-y. laughs> That's the manager? Esteemed work colleague. It is the, you literally summoned the manager. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, Jax goes over and says, uh, I, I had a thing. Uh, could you try this out? And he hands uh, her the second thing. I, I think she called it a uh, Elvis sunburst. Oh, yeah, you forgot to salt the rim. Uh <laughs> You always salt the rim. So oh, I'm gonna salt the rim. The rim. And he just like steps back and line. grabs a handful of salt and throws it at the cup. Yeah, you got it. You got it, my man. And I will take a sip of it. <laughs> I thought you were throwing the salt at Cecil. <laughs> you, um... So, the, uh... <clears throat> sorry, my brain. Um, the... Index finger on your right hand begins to glow brightly, like the sun. Yep, uh, Elvis Sunburst. <laughs> I stick it in the drink. Seems legit. <laughs> like you do. <laughs> and Jack walks over here thing. to look for a shining fingertip. <laughs> <laughs> Like, did, did her cup disappear with her? Yes. Just gone. Okay. okay, so there's no type of mess or anything? No. Alright. The same cannot be said for the demon room. <sighs> See so... by any chance? <laughs> yes? You are contract bound to come and help Javois clean this room now. <laughs> Uh, you're so right. You're so right. You're so right. You're so right. Here's the thing. I have a glowing finger. Oh, good. It will help you see the mess better. I'm probably. I'm just going to take a stab at it. I can probably see the mess just fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please, fine. Do stab, please do not stab the mess. I feel as if that would make it worse. <laughs> did, did someone drop a glass or so? Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, you know what, just to try something, bippity boppity boo, and I point my glowing finger at it. Please, big lizard magic this, yeah, I was please! Yeah, gonna say, please roll big, big lizard magic. Yes. <laughs> bippity boppity boo, indeed. <laughs> That's an eight. <laughs> and Jax is just over here, scrub- oh. <laughs> Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> How do you feel about the taste of blood? You want to lick some of this up for me real, real quick? Ooh, that's gross. <laughs> what about vomiting seawater onto it? How do you feel about that? I don't feel sick. Okay. <laughs> you want a snack? I'd like a snack. Okay. Um... All right. Well, follow me. We're we're gonna we're gonna go into the kitchen. Oh gosh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I'm gonna go look for like. It's looking <laughs> at know. the door. Oh, are you stuck in Jack, here? Jack, oh, you can't fit. <laughs> Jack runs over and holds one door open and says, "You grab the other one, and then maybe he can get through." Yeah, yeah, we're pulling. He 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 sucks it in, and squeezes through. There's gasps 
from all throughout the bar. He's fine. He's fine. He's <laughs> fine. The Roll Kraken charm. looks completely unfazed. Pleased to meet you, sir. <laughs> Roll charm, please, Cecil. <laughs> Nat 20. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, okay. Must be Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go, you know, into the kitchen and see if there's any, like, s sardines. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, did Roll Cecil summon on another one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cecil, what have I told you about summoning lizards in the establishment? I wasn't trying to, I wanted to see what my glowing finger did. That's an 18. <sighs> you do, in fact, find quite a few. Okay, you have fun. I have to go clean up a demon mess that I uh, accidentally took charge of because a dude couldn't hold a pen. Anyway. <laughs> uh, actually obligated. <laughs> before she gets back, could uh, I roll a uh, battle buff out to, to see how far I'm getting on with it? Yes, please roll a battle buff out. That's a 12. You're making some progress. I mean, systematic yeah, is the name of the game when it when it comes to this kind of mess. I don't yeah. know. I feel like the pentacle really adds something to the room. <laughs> Maybe we should leave that part. I but think it's going to start to smell real bad in like two days. Mm, Not every uh, day is Sacrifice Tuesday. <laughs> so that uh, would be very interesting. Oh, no. I have something for this. Um... I, I, in fact, I think it's called that. Oh no, it's called Endless Supplies. It's not called I Have Something for This. It should be called I Have Something for This, though. Um, <laughs> okay, could I use a I Have Something for This and pull out like a uh, wood finish? Uh, if we really like the pentagram thing, I'll just like cover it up. That way it'll stay red, it'll stay nice. Like. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to finish the chairs and the table so the pentagram stays and then start cleaning up the rest of the blood. <laughs> the pentagram is on the map layer. It's staying. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Yes. Seems like you don't need my help. I'm just, I'll just watch. <laughs> Cecil, by the way, your finger is going to glow like that for 1d8 days. <laughs> uh, let me get out of d8. Five. Nice. It's the Hanukkah miracle. <laughs> I really think... Almost seasonal enough for that reference. Oh, man. <sighs> So, I really think we should have made a out. plan before just building the bar. <laughs> uh, Alright, um, Jax, I need a D10. Oh, that's me. That is, <laughs> that is a six. Oh, excellent. Oh, dear. Sacrificial room, summoning magic lizards, what voice could you point at us, sir? Mm? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> the problem is, as a retired adventurer, they probably do. <laughs> probably seen most things at this point. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, I just like Cecil as a retired adventurer. Points glowing finger at the mess. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what this does. <laughs> Magic has solved so many later. problems in the past. <laughs> Oh my gosh, is this place new? Oh I, gosh. I, I wish you could see the face that Brigitte just made. Um, so it, what it's... just walked in? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. were five high elves. Uh, <clears throat> One of them is dressed in all white, wearing an absolutely crappy oh. tiara. Yep. And the others are all egging her on. Uh, Cecil is running and hurtling back behind the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need shots? Oh, we need shots. Let's go get shots. 
the shot glasses are do, already do they move out. In formation like that? Yeah, Brigitte wants <laughs> yes. to know: Do they have sashes that say "I'm with the bridesmaid"? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the bride. Oh, how drunk are they already? Very. Uh, the bride leans over the the bar. We need shots. So many shots. I'm getting married tomorrow, and I don't want to think about it. The oh, Kraken pulls oh. out his pistol. Happy to oblige. <laughs> <laughs> Susan yeah, just reaches misery. out and puts her fist over the end of the pistol and goes, "I got you, babe." And just starts pouring. Shots. I think they're oh. all just straight tequila. The alcohol kind. Oh, I miss the <laughs> store the R. I do need a D100 from you, Amy. Okay. Jax pulls out five uh, contracts of paper <laughs> saying, uh, you guys look pretty young. I need you to sign these contracts saying that you're of age to drink. How does that work for elves? Uh, it's an 85, Dallas. 85. <clears throat> They look at you down their noses, even though they have to look up at you. I'm not sure how that's possible, but it's happening. Ew, go away. That's one of the special skills on my resume, man. <laughs> he, he just uh, sets them down like he thinks that they're going to fill them out anyway. And uh, he says, happy to oblige. <laughs> and he heads off. Uh, yes, I am sorry, ladies, but uh, we have a special room for parties like yourselves that I'm sure you will love going into. We actually just got it remodeled, and personally, I think it kind of Freshly actually really, decorated. It adds a really nice touch to it. This is a courtesy of Monsieur Geoffroy that you were just speaking to. Um, so he's a little particular about uh, the kinds of individuals that he allows in there, but I think that the fact that he handed you these contracts to begin with means that he really really thinks that you will have a great time and enjoy yourselves. They all look around. <laughs> and then the one that looks to be in charge that isn't the bride leans over and goes, I think we should do it, Becky. What do you say? And after long deliberation, the bride grabs a shot, takes a snip of it, goes, oh, that smells awful. It's going to be great, and chugs it. <laughs> <laughs> Brigitte, Brigitte is immediately like, oh, it will taste even worse in that very excited, like, on the same page. <laughs> and while McCracken's like, I could always summon the manager if you had any complaints. Uh, no, I do not think uh, we need to bother Karen right now. She uh, is probably recovering from her last <clears throat> summons. So we could get out the birthday lizard. They're probably done with their, their you know, uh, sardines by now. Uh, yeah, the birthday wizard. Uh, wizard, oh gosh. <laughs> The, the, the accent. The, oh, yes, the birthday wizard. Do you think that uh, he does bridal parties? Uh, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to ask him. Down the shot glass and says, That tasted like chocolate. And immediately shoots three more. Uh, Br Brigitte's mouth does come open at that, as the, the, it's that, it's that you probably shouldn't do it, but doesn't get the words out, just like the, ah. Uh, mm. uh, I've seen you do that in real life. You uh, yeah, the, ah. Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Cicel, oh, yes. on the other hand, has no qualms about it, and is pouring uh. more. <laughs> Uh, Brigitte is handing her a pen after uh, she grabs the second drink so that she will uh, sign said contract. She signs all five of them with kisses. Like XOXO on the end. <laughs> ah, <yes>. <laughs> Becky XOXO. <laughs> <laughs> the O is also hearts. Yes. yes. <laughs> Hugs and more love. <laughs> And they wander in various trajectories towards as they, the room. As they head that way, Jack steps out of their way and gives them, like, a slight bow. You hear a slight shriek. You're not sure of terror or delight when they see the decor. I mean, that's fair. They've had enough shots that it could be both at the same time. It's possible. Do any of them come back out? Nope. Then they're probably fine. 
<laughs> Clearly, I've worked in the customer service industry. <laughs> Yes. Is there blood? Don't call me if there's not blood. <laughs> Did someone die, though? Uh, because if they died, I have so much paperwork to fill out, and really, I'm just not feeling it right now. <clears throat> oh, so there's a moment of quiet that settles back on the bar. Um, what are you going to do with that? I mean, Brigitte Fill the is the immediately... silence with the sweet sounds of a hurdy-gurdy. <laughs> That's fair. Brigitte is immediately like, Ah, oh, Cecil, no, I think you should go and ask the lizard if it does uh, uh, vital parties. Absolutely. I disconnected my mouse so that I could charge my computer, but it means that I cannot move my character. But uh, Cecil is, in fact, going to go talk to the lizard. I got you, because I can but... move you too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, how do you feel about bridal parties? Uh, in what regard? I mean, do you like to attend them? Do you want to hang out with them? Sometimes they serve good food. I mean, so this one isn't catered. It's literally just like here. Um, I could like, I don't actually know who cooks here. Is that me? Am I expected to cook? <laughs> All I know how to make is pancakes. I can make pancakes. Are they sea pancakes? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could make bridal pancakes. Bridal pancakes. I like pancakes. Can I help you make pancakes? Yes, absolutely you can. We are making pancakes back here. <clears throat> I'm going to need a relevant check on that. Um, is it the big pancake pour? It might be the big pancake pour. It's either that or Uncanny Gambler. <laughs> I mean, gambling as to whether you pick the right ingredients. Uncanny Gambler is a description of how I make pancakes. So I mean, that's, that's fair for me approaching most cooking, so... <laughs> it's an 11. <laughs> On which Above side? average pancakes. Uh, it was an Uncanny Gambler that I ruled. They might not be poisoned. You know what? That's a step above most of my drinks, so I'll Excellent. take it. <laughs> I'm gonna need a Z100. <laughs> Roll for pancake. Uh, 21. Scroll back to the top of the list, Alice. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, this is gonna be a bridal party. They ain't gonna forget. <clears throat> Either that or they won't remember it. One of the two. <laughs> And I'm gonna what are you doing, fill, I'm gonna fill some shot glasses with maple syrup, and I'm gonna take the lizard with me to the room with the bridal party. On your way out uh, the door, you bump uh, into a very badly sneaking goblin. Um. Hi. What you, you know. What you looking for? Uh, what can I help you with? Do you want pancakes? That's all I got. I would love some pancakes. Okay, you can pay for them and I'll make more after I deliver these. Hey? Yeah, you... Mm. You know what? I've been there. I've been there. You go sit tight. There's no more pancakes for you to steal. Back here. Well, that's rude. You should have made more. Listen, this is a this is not a pancake house. <laughs> Kraken yells across the room. Just have the lizard eat the darn thing. I'm sure Jacques would not mind if he was not no, uh, available just wants anymore. Pancakes. <laughs> Everyone wants pancakes. Tell him the goblins a pancake. Toil. <laughs> <laughs> Get somebody out here with their warhammer. We'll make the goblin a pancake. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotta go deliver this order. I'm. I'll be right back. I'm gonna be right back. Okay. Don't move. Don't move. <laughs> you walk away, and he immediately walks into the kitchen. I'm gonna deal with that in a minute. I will go deliver pancakes and maple syrup shots. The lizard is shyly balancing a tray on his head while trying to think about what to do with the door. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Jax can sense a spill from anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and Jax runs over and gets the door. <laughs> Thank you. You 
are too kind. Now then, ladies, if you would like some pancakes, we can oblige. And they are all very excited. Squeals to get of food. delight. Over the lizard or the pancakes, we'll never know. We'll never know. Is there anything else that you guys need? Uh, they are beginning to eat the pancakes, and terror starts filling their eyes as they're looking at you. <laughs> Specifically at your mop. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I forgot. You wanted me to be away. <laughs> the lizard okay. awkwardly backs out of the room as well. <laughs> I'm gonna go follow that goblin. <laughs> Follow the goblin. What you looking for? He's making the face that people make when they're looking into the fridge and trying to lower their standards. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're gonna need to. You're, you know, probably chances are whatever it is you're looking for, we don't have it. Just to be perfectly honest with you. Walking in circles <laughs> doesn't help, usually. <laughs> looking under the table, looking in the barrels. Yeah. This is a bad kitchen. Yeah. It's a bar. <laughs> and it's opening night. What would he expect? I, I literally wild. just told you all we have is pancakes. The Kraken would like you to walk up to the lizard and try to convince it to eat the goblin. <laughs> <laughs> and what relevant skill are you going to use to accomplish that? Uh, I don't suppose I could roll a pirate check. Performance check? I mean, it's a lizard that was, you know, invoked by an angry lizard sea god, so like... You can be a pirate. That's fine. A pirate check. Pirate he's, a check. he's a pirate. He's a pirate. Do -do 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 Better than <laughs> non-natural 20. Uh, I mean, it's been a long time since I ate a goblin. Ah, uh, well, this one's a real dick. <laughs> His say... name is probably Richard, and I hate people named Richard. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say delicious. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought too. <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, if the esteemed captain is asking, I could do the captain a favor. Ah, he's a nuisance. Just go take care of him in whatever way you deem necessary. The lizard starts striding purposefully towards the kitchen. Excellent. Oh, yeah. I'll uh, hold open the door and let him in. <laughs> the lizard looks very sternly at the goblin. Now then, young man, you've made an annoyance of yourself, and the captain's asked me to dispose of you. <laughs> the goblin looks nervous. Now there's a window right there, and if you get out of here, I will not have to resort to drastic measures. Cecil? I like I uh -huh. really have a lizard bouncer. When did that happen? Cecil? <laughs> you, you've been around. You're a retired adventurer. You have never seen a goblin move that fast. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why they be call me Cack, Captain McCracken. Because you've never seen a goblin run that fast? Shh. Oh, okay. I, I apologize. <laughs> no questions. <laughs> The hardy guardy speaks for itself. <laughs> I have spoken. <laughs> the lizard walks back over to the captain and perches itself on the nearby table, listening to the hurdy gurdy music and humming softly. As a bounce, every bouncer should. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. We can't have a bouncer that doesn't appreciate good hurdy gurdy music. That wouldn't be allowed. I think it's time for the break. <laughs> Oh I... wow, it's already been an hour and a half. Wow. Yes, yes it has. <laughs> and there's people still listening to this? <laughs> wow. There's more people Damn. listening to this than we ever had in a Qtasa game. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I apologize for nothing. 
<laughs> me we are, neither. We are not sorry for the mess that we have created. Karina, you haven't used any of your magic items yet. Uh, you know, people were clean and everything's going great. I don't know why I would need to use a magic item. The goblin's gone. You know, we've taken Yeah, the Kraken's fun. already killed six people. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> Indirectly, but like, you know, it's, we're not we're not screwing around here. Zero days since the last <laughs> Tinder death. <laughs> the problem is, is that he thinks he's probably killed seven because he... I would he doesn't know the goblin got away. The goblin away. Yeah, I mean, I encouraged the lizard to eat the goblin, <laughs> but I didn't. I didn't end up specifically telling him to do that. Okay, I am going to mute my microphone for at least two or three minutes while I pour myself another freaking drink. Um, <laughs> we're the not sorry for driving. I shall also hey, go Dallas. in momentarily. Yes. Uh, I'll need you to roll a d100. Constitution saving throw. Eighty-seven. <laughs> An 87, let me read what that does. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This potion makes you extremely flammable. Stay away from fire or be prepared for things to get lit. Well, you did right. just bring, like, you know, five high elves in here, so let's, let's try, try not to burn Extra down our flammable. bar. <laughs> I mean, we're we're all of the sea. That can't be that difficult to put out a fire, right? Someone <laughs> should be able to, like, you know, control water, right? right. Maybe. Might be I have a swashbuckling uh, skill. It'll be fine. All right. All right. I'm gonna <laughs> hand it over to Anna for a couple of minutes, and then um, it has been told that people like us coming back and during the ten minute break having more of this nonsense conversation. So I'll be back Hi. in a couple of minutes. Okay. Cheerio. Yeah. Same here. I will go nowhere because the cat just jumped on my lap. Oh, you are fully. morally obligated to stay where exactly where you are now. Yeah. So, as Stella said, we will be back in about ten minutes' time, and... As we do, we of course want to thank not only our wonderful cast that you hear doing this nonsense, but also our crew, because we have had, we've used Prog's props for our maps, and of course the artwork of Danielle Skaggs, aka Seeksy, on DeviantArt for uh, some of our wonderful characters and we've also used artwork from other places around the internet if you uh, like what you see well uh, let us know and we'll let you know where we got it and you'll know what we know and we'll both be in the know and we'll get right back to the adventure in just a few minutes thank you Hello. Hello. <sighs> Best character sheets ever. Casey is back. Mm. And I'm so curious about what's going on with my mop, but I feel like as a retired adventurer who's very nonchalant, Jax has seen weirder stuff than what's ever gone on with what's happening with the mop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, I think just in general, everything that's happened so far, I like how none of us are very, ex like, it's like, mm -hmm, yep, this seems, this is just like a normal day in a level 20 character's <laughs> life. Like, you know, you, 
summon a kraken to eat your demons for you, and then you uh, summon a big lizard and feed it sardines from your kitchen, uh, like yeah. you do. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, a like Tuesday. You do. It's a Tuesday. It's, it's sacrifice, sacrifice Tuesday. Tuesday. I just, and I just, drinks are half off. There's and you probably cool ritual for the price of one. In in the back room, Brigitte will be putting up a sign that is away from any doors or windows that will amusingly say zero days since last patron death. <laughs> <laughs> Cecil making a uh, menu for Snackrifice Tuesday. <laughs> Where the snacks are half off. Oh man, snacks are half off on Snackrifice Tuesday. But the snacks are just pancakes. It's and just like various pancakes. Then pinched Pigs in a blanket. Oh, pigs can I wrap blanket. it in a pig? I, I feel like we would have had to like contact a butcher and stuff, and I'm not sure we were that prepared. For this, uh, like, I, I, mean, I think that's like a second session. <laughs> I feel like I feel like for sure none of us know who the boss of this establishment actually is. We were just told to be here on opening day, and we're like, what, okay. About we have a kraken manager. We all knew this. Yeah, <laughs> it's the kraken. We called Karen yeah. in. <laughs> it's the kraken that told us all. And then in the room on Sacrifice Tuesday, I will need six demons. All right, sure. <laughs> yeah, if we actually get to like a Karen and just uh, summon uh, our manager, cracking Karen, mm-hmm. and they can go at it. <laughs> Young Karen McCracken. Of Karen no McCracken. relation. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no relation. relation. No relation. Are you sure there's no relation? <laughs> oh, it was a distant I... cousins, perhaps. <laughs> When I was a wee sea pirate. <laughs> when I was a young warthog. <laughs> it needs to be like, like, hurdy gurdy accompaniment to that song, though. Yes. H- Hakuna Matata Ray. Happy to pull up some hurdy gurdy videos. <laughs> uh, you know, all, I don't know so much wow. about hurdy gurdy tuning. If you put them, if you put them in the Discord, I will put them in the stream. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. There are some. Really I have good. many. Yeah, I was gonna say I I have a couple. I am partially fond of the uh, where's my laptop. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, BDG is a national treasure. How many verses did twelve? <laughs> You'll get it in context. Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys. We missed the pancakes in different shapes. Yeah, I like saw it right as I was delivering them, and I was like, I mean, pentagram shaped, pentagram shaped works. I'm like yeah. thinking, I don't, I don't think Cecil is talented enough to do like atomically correct shapes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you could do squiggles or little. Uh, yeah, I don't that know. doesn't. Take any talent, Anytime like, it's yeah. circular, I say it's a bubble. Like in the ocean. Yeah, yeah it's, it's yeah. another pentagram shade for Snackrifice Tuesday. One day we're gonna get a waffle press that does have a pentagram in it. For more <laughs> sacrifices. It also, uh, it's also great to help with the problem customers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, something that I wanted to discuss really quick during this break. Um, what the heck are we calling this place? Oh yeah, that's important. Brigitte, <laughs> Brigitte has literally been calling it the Once Upon a Tavern. Like, okay. Like, I don't what know was... if that's what we intended, but she's, you know, welcome to Once Upon a Tavern. Like, you know. What's the name of our ship that we turn into the tavern? Uh, I mean, I feel like the McCracken would not be a worst <laughs> name. Instead of instead of McDonald's, it's McCracken. <laughs> Guys, there's a how it's made video for Hurdy Gurdies. Uh, I am sensing a slight obsession occurring um, from <laughs> the sea pirate captain portion of the room. <laughs> They're cool instruments, to be to, fair. To um, to accentuate the theme this evening for the second half of this game, I have poured myself a neat rum. <laughs> As Did you, you use crack and Because rum? the rest of the evening is going to be neat. <laughs> <laughs> or it's going to be rum, one of the two. <laughs> no, I used the rum I had on hand. It's black, black It's quite good. Okay. Yeah, it's not too far off. 
it's quite a bit brighter than Kraken. Kraken's just like, you wanna die, lad? <laughs> oh, but it tastes so good. <laughs> Kraken, I, oh, Kraken. Kraken was the only alcohol I had my freshman year of college. We just had one bottle of Kraken that we stored in my room, in my rain boot, so that when the Aries came and room checked us, they wouldn't find it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, Kraken was my very first alcohol to try. Uh, my alcoholic friend uh, recommended it to me right before I graduated from college. He was like, this is the stuff to drink, because no matter how much of you drink of it, because of these holes, and he like pointed to his fingers uh, very much, because he was of course drunk, he was like, you can't drop the bottle! <laughs> Seeing lots of stuff happen in Discord. Yeah. Is we're posting so many hurdy gurdy. Yeah, we're posting ah. hurdy gurdy, <laughs> and and um, Andre is just fabulous. Like he has I... so many different videos mm -hmm. on his YouTube. If you go check it out, and um, Danielle knows about him too, and and like texted me the other day, was like he's <laughs> streaming. I was like, what? <laughs> it was wonderful. Oh, yes! I found it! There it is! Over. Earl the Bard. Oh, no. Because if you're not a bard named Earl, what are you doing with your life? I need to. I need <laughs> There's to hear a this. Pirates of the Caribbean hurdy gurdy cover for those yep, in the yep. chat. Um, <laughs> um, people on the stream should be able to hear it over my computer. Uh, I mean, I was just saying um, in general, because I didn't know if they knew. Who or what was being played? The octave doubling. <laughs> oh, music majors. <laughs> I am. I did not expect to learn any of this tonight. I feel so enriched. You you know, whenever you put Elliot in a game and he's got an instrument, he's gonna learn about the instrument. It's one of his <laughs> great, great qualities. That means we're all gonna learn about the instrument. <laughs> Thank you. you know about Elliot. Right, he wrote a dissertation. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you're also just gonna I mean, learn if it's a not lot. accurate, what's the point? <laughs> After all, what's the point? <laughs> and you know you're going to learn a lot when someone that literally has a skill, ancient and probably worthless knowledge. Yes! It's a very important skill. To be fair, I have actually played a hurdy-gurdy once. It was, uh... An experience. It was something. <laughs> um, Cecil. Yes? I need a 1d10. <laughs> Sorry, I just elbowed my cat in the face. He doesn't seem to be kind. Uh, that's an 8. But you apologize to us for it. That's an 8. Please roll it again. Okay. What is he that's another 8. That? Right. <laughs> that's a 4. Get it together! <clears throat> a rather unusual figure walks in the door. Compared to the rest of them, that's somewhat of a feat. Yeah. Yeah, that would be uh, quite impressive. Compared to our crew, that's quite a f ah! <laughs> Friendly neighborhood kraken! It does, in fact, look like a kraken. Um, how does Mick Kraken respond? His eyes narrow, but he says nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would like to speak to the manager of this place. Um, yes, hold, please. Okay, you're gonna have to do that thing again. <clears throat> oh, I don't know. It's hard on demand, though. Uh, I, yeah, I realize that, but you can't get your performance anxiety now. I need you to uh, deliver. Oh, very well. I'll see if Karen's available. Thank you. Um, and with I'm that, just making sure he launches that I into his this. Feet. Are y'all setting a precedent of murdering your undesired customers? 
No, we're, no. we're this getting one the manager. Asked to speak to the manager. And our manager is obviously Karen it's McCracken. A, it's a demon eating Kraken. The Kraken. This other guy's not a demon. Yeah, it's not a Kraken eating Kraken. That would that not be, be cannibalism. That's weird. Yeah. And that's frowned upon in most societies. Even Particularly the Kraken. Kraken societies. <laughs> they know how delicious they are. <laughs> okay, so what are you launching into then? My classic rendition, and it's uh, <laughs> 21, by the way, of the um, <laughs> my friendly... My good friend, what, what the it? demon yes, eating kraken. My good kraken. friend, the demon eating kraken. <laughs> um, so, since you already summoned the, the kraken from that story, the other part of that story is summoned. What, uh, there's another part? <laughs> you know, that's the, first the demon, five. That's You'll the get demon, it in the context. Demon. You'll get it in context. <laughs> you know, the demons. Oh, well, that's not Karen. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, Brigitte immediately, uh, walks over to, um, uh, did they actually, uh, say a name of one of these guys? No, that was Becky. Becky has a name. Yes. Um, uh, I, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, we'll immediately walk over to what was previously the birthday demon and be like, Oh, yes! Oh, I'm so glad that you were able to come back. Uh, so we have, uh, someone at the door who would like to speak with you. Jax, what are you doing? Uh, Jax is, uh, over there, uh, just kind of asking him, do, do you have a code or anything that I could take for you? Uh, we have nice tables. Can I get you a starter and a nice snack? I'm well, sure that we I'm have sure something. I'm sure the food here is disgusting, but I want as much of it as you can pile on the table. And I do want to speak to the manager. I feel seen. <laughs> <laughs> I am already going in to get whatever sardines and pancakes I can find. <laughs> the two things we've established there are. Sardines and pancakes? Uh, um, I mean, you, you know, with this group, I'm surprised that it was as normal as sardines and pancakes you know, totally traditional are. traditional pirate food. If I roll a sardine in a pancake, <laughs> is it a pig in a blanket? A sea pig in a blanket? <laughs> it is is a, it a crepe? <laughs> you could just call it a sea pancake. <laughs> is a pig in a blanket a sandwich? I mean, our hot dog uh... sandwiches... Is a bagel dog a sandwich? <laughs> mm, bagel dogs. Mm, bagel dogs. Anyway, I will bring them um, sardines wrapped in pancakes. That's that's what I'm doing. You shouldn't hear that bagels are sandwiches because that's some sacrilegious BS right there. <laughs> sacrilegious, I think thing you mean. Yeah, entirely. <laughs> well, no, but then like a bagel sandwich is different. Like a bagel well, with cream yeah, cheese. I, that bagel. is still just a bagel. I. It's just the, a bagel. The demons are moving back towards their room. Oh, no, Brigitte was getting, uh, pointing in the direction of the Kraken. Oh, is there someone here to speak with you, sir? <laughs> the birthday demon listens, but that's... Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. The rest are still heading back to their room. Uh, um, our dear, wonderful lizard friend, would you mind, uh, going into the other room with Mon Capitan and making sure that all of our patrons are properly entertained? What? <laughs> she's she will she's looking at uh, McCracken and the other demons that are going in, uh, uh, meaningfully looking at the other demons and it looks at uh, Mon Capitan and the lizard and is like, uh, would you make sure that uh, this problem is taken care of in whatever manner you seem fit? <laughs> Since we do have other people in that room right now. <laughs> uh, Jax uh, pulls out uh, a piece of paper and says. Uh, you guys signed this contract. It says if you leave the room and I clean the room, that you don't have your time back. The Kraken just waves everyone off. He says, I've got this. He barges into the room and he says, Ladies, the strippers be here. <laughs> So this entire time, Karina thought that the sea li like that was is what was going to happen with the sea lizards. So I'm glad that that's happening somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> and I'm writing this down in my notes, and I in, quote, in Ladies! Order. <laughs> in order, I need a super promotable check out of Jax. That is a 20. Not that. And then 31. I need a he's a pirate check. <laughs> yep. Because yep. obviously that is a 19. Our pirate territory. Not pirate even. strippers? They mob you. <laughs> oh no, they're demon strippers, but I can absolutely see why you'd think that. From across the bar, Cecil yells, Just take it off! <laughs> oh, well, I suppose I could, uh, well, take the hat off at least. It's a good start! <laughs> First, you have to take the hurdy gurdy off. Oh, no, no that's the hurdy gurdy stays on. <laughs> Everything but the hurdy gurdy. Like, the rest of the outfit is like one of those Velcro strip offs, but the hurdy gurdy is, like, actually attached. Like, it's not going anywhere. It's it's what's covering the front. <laughs> it's actually been mechanically attached to him, you know, <laughs> at this point, like grafted into his skin. Grafted against him. <laughs> when the DM catches his breath, we'll be back. Oh uh, uh, I mean, you know you're the one that put the demons back in the room, Dallas. That's true. That's true. Um, McCracken, you're being mobbed. Are you going to stay where you are or move out of the doorway? I'm going to move out and try to usher the demons in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. the elves are going to follow you. Fair enough. <laughs> He's used to having a fan club. <laughs> now I've got an audience. Start playing his hurdy-gurdy. <laughs> Roll a um, performance check. Oh. That is an 18. Oh, I'm, I'm glad I got all the crappy rolls out earlier. Um, they are just enthralled by your playing. Almost so much that they forget about strippers, though one of them does start tugging at one of your boots. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I feel like the hurdy-gurdy's gotta be more important here. Um, <clears throat> uh, Mon Capitaine, perhaps you can do that thing that you do sometimes and make, um, what they are wishing happen up here? Oh. <laughs> yeah, Before you a... do that. <laughs> Brigitte is Cecil, just an enabler and doing? I'm not sorry. Me? I am, um, I am watching this conversation between these two <laughs> lovely people happen because there is absolutely no way I'm missing out on this. And also, one or both of them may have a drink order. And also, I just brought this Kraken, um, you know, a questionable plate of snacks. <laughs> so, <laughs> I need to take orders, see how well things are received, and find out what the hot goss is. <laughs> so, they're actually talking about um, the the twelfth lord of hell's uh, power move into the seven hundred and twenty eighth layer, which borders <coughs> on the ocean. Oh, I probably have some thoughts and feelings about that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't. Uh, yeah. You know what? That feels like that feels like encroaching. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna flip a chair around and sit on it backward <laughs> like a cool kid. I uh, lean over it and be like. Yeah, man, that's pretty messed up. <laughs> the Kraken is like, don't you see? You can't put demons in the ocean. That doesn't make any sense. No, I fully agree. The ocean's got its own stuff going on. And the devil's like, no, no, no. Don't you get it? Don't you get it? That's the invasion plan. You come through the ocean, take over the world. Okay, yeah, but like the ocean, like I said, has its own stuff going on. We're busy. But we're more important. So there. You know, Which I really don't Kraken think that like a whole him. lot of the ocean agrees. The Kraken just slaps him. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That was a good point. That was a good point. I also slap him. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say Brigitte sees that slap and is trying not to laugh. I'm not just it's just yes, Fine. This Fine. Is exactly what I can wanted. tell when I'm not wanted. I'm gonna go back to my birthday celebration. Yeah. Happy birthday! Request a song of the hurdy gurdy. Yes. 
Remarkably <gasps> articulate. I particularly liked that backhand. <laughs> I mean, I got two hands. I know how to use them. Excellent. <laughs> Tentacle high five. High five. <laughs> but does your hand turn into a tentacle, or is it just a normal hand? No, it's just a normal hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like this place better already. Can I have a drink? Yes. What do you want? Surprise me. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guy's got a death wish. <laughs> All right, I am going. I'm hopping the bar, and I am mixing. What are you making? Oh, um, hmm. now what would I serve a kraken? I mean, I mean, uh, I would uh, uh, um, kraken, <laughs> kraken, but not straight kraken, because Cecil believes strongly in mixers, although not with any kind of good taste. Um, so like me then. I mean, mixers yeah. but without good taste i really i really am hearkening back to my my youthful days we're going for the like crack and dr pepper combo nice. <laughs> the you medieval know, i've done uh, that and it's terrible it, i yes i'm well aware <laughs> it gets you there though uh, the medieval dr pepper yeah, ye old Dr. Pepper. <laughs> ye old with an E. <laughs> While you're rolling that, Jax, what are you doing? Um, it's a 51. It, is that elf supposed to be there? or? Is well, that that's an excellent question. You should ask someone. Well, does Jax see the elf there? Yes. Okay. Um... Jax is, uh, has, like, the contract splayed out on the table and says, Okay, so the other party is pretty much gone. But if you see, I put a lot of work into cleaning this up. And I may have made a mistake earlier. I made a drink for someone. I didn't ask for the payment. And then they left. <laughs> um, <laughs> so how about this? You guys, uh buy or pay for two drinks I'll and I'll let you well just like scratch out this part of the contract real quick no one has to know okay we'll do it all right thanks I, I really this is our first night I don't want there to be like a short change at the bar or anything the, uh... but you're, you're more than welcome to have the room and uh, he pulls out, like, uh, the ring of keys to the bar and gives him one, and he's like, here's a key to that window over there if you'd, like, need to go and get someone for whatever this is. Oh, no, I'm I not think gonna... we're quite taken care of. Okay, but just if you could keep blood to a minimum this time, that that would be awesome. Thank you the so much. The blood last much. time was not our doing. I, I understand things get a handsome time. And, like, yeah, don't don't worry about it. I got you covered. And I give him a wink. Uh, do you guys need anything as uh, I head out? I can ask someone else to get something for you, or I can try my best. I'm not the best at the thing, but yeah. No, I think we're quite satisfied. Shifty-eyed look at the elf in the corner. And he lets things be, and he goes <laughs> and slips the change back in, slips the money into the register, and is like, man, oh, didn't want to be that. caught serving drinks without getting the pay. <laughs> That'd be bad running a bar if we weren't filling up our box. Uh, Bridget? Mm hmm? There's the sound of a bubble popping next to you. That, that, that makes... Karina, the player, uncomfortable, but, uh... Oh! <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and uh, deposit a soaking wet elf. Someone uh, Brigitte, oh lord. Brigitte 
uh, looks are, uh, whoever this individual is, <coughs> up and down, and is immediately like, mm, uh, this seems like a very familiar situation, as she's looking over at the wet individual the that audience, got dropped. This individual is an incubus, full wings, tight-fitting leather clothes, sexy grin, all of it. Mm -hmm. uh, very important, is this iteration wearing a shirt? No. Dope. <laughs> <laughs> very, very relevant to our interest. Ah, oh, the stripper be here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please! Did you say that out loud? Because uh, Brigitte is then giving the incubus a second look up and down. <laughs> um, no, deposits the patron that had been over in this upper right corner now soaking wet on the floor. <laughs> Have you deposited someone soaking wet in front of me before? Because I feel as if this is a very familiar situation. <laughs> I'm sure I haven't, but would you like it if I had? Yes. Well, I can't turn back time, but perhaps we can meet again in the future. I think I would like that very much. Uh, what was your name again? Oh, Arthur, darling. Ah, of course it is. Uh, so, are you going to stay and uh, play strip club for our bridesmaids, or...? Take the rest of it off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been uh, a long time since I've done a command performance, but... Um, pulls, pulls on suspenders that are not there. Uh -huh, I mm -hmm, suppose yeah. I could conjure something. I mean... We will be in your debt. How much in my debt? However much in your debt you would like me to be handsome. I do like the sound of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. just sign this for me. Paint uh, uh, thin air. I mean, the problem with that is Brigitte definitely reads it, <coughs> having a it patron of her own. <laughs> uh, having a patron of her own. She reads it. If it's in Infernal, she's still going to read it. That's because... Um, um, because Swashbuckle, because that is her patron, is, you know. <laughs> um, so the contract basically says that in the event of your untimely death, the individual uh, that uh, wrote the contract has all rights to your body parts. Oh, sweetheart, I am so sorry to tell you this, but uh, there is someone else that uh, has first go at that. Ah, this... I'll take that up with them. Uh, okay, well, um, so the thing is, there is a museum that recently has come into effect that I, uh, have been told as a member of a previous adventuring party that uh, they have first claim, so uh, you can take it up with them when the time comes, I guess. Which, which <laughs> bridesmaid, or, wait, wait, which one is the bride? That one. Uh, McCracken's gonna shove her over and go, That's the stripper contract, you need to sign it. Roll a ancient and probably worthless knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> That's a five. <laughs> um, she believes you, she got a four. Excellent. She stumbles over. I got this one, sweetie, and signs. Uh, oh, mm, um, Brigitte does not, in fact, uh, like, make a bunch of fuss about it, um, but definitely is looking at Arthur and winking, and it's one of those, like, oh, no, please don't take the contract from me, that is so awful and terrible of you. <clears throat> now then, do it. <laughs> And there's a stripper show going on. Um, McCracken, what, what are you going to play to accompany this? Um, a really, whatever the sexiest music a hurdy-gurdy is possible to play. <laughs> is it like a, a hurdy-gurdy cover of that one is it, saxophone it, solo? Oh, I was, was going to say, hurdy-gurdy put some, pour some sugar on me. <laughs> no, that's what I was thinking. That's so <laughs> classic <laughs> It's like a drone underneath. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am not Use the technical term. It. That's sad. <laughs> if anyone finds it, put it in the Discord, and I will play it on the live stream. 
Uh oh, the the th a thousand furious typing fingers. I just nope, heard sadly, <laughs> I'm not getting anything either. <laughs> um. All right. Uh, so sea sail. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing? Well, I brought my co you know, this this kraken drank back to this kraken. Uh, I'm just gonna. Pop a squat next to him. Although, actually, I see a person's heading back to the bar. I guess I'll go do my job. A very wet person. Oh, you know, been there. <laughs> um, as a member of the scene. As the Kraken is drinking, they are slowly disappearing. Yeah, that seems par for the course. <laughs> um, and before you get too excited, Bridget, I need a D10. Uh, of course. Uh, that is a four. Roll it again. Okay, I will roll two, and we'll see if I cannot roll an eight or a four or a six or what about a nine? We're losing the numbers that we can have. Excellent. Nine is perfect. Continue as you were. Ah, oh, most excellent, because um, she is totally watching with all of the bridesmaids. <laughs> <laughs> The Incubus is doing a pretty good job. Oh, I'm pretty sure I uh, that I know the type of good I'm pretty team. good. I feel like I need to improve my mental picture of what's going on here. <laughs> is this pretty good, like, like decent? Or is this pretty good, like, hottest strip club in New York City? Like, that? I, you know? So, the, not only is the Incubus a fantastic and acrobatic dancer, but they're also using magic to not only affect the lights that you didn't know you had in your bar, <laughs> but also to accentuate all the right parts of their body at the right moment to make it alluring even to the straight guys in the room. So it's pretty good for opening night you know, at, like, you know, a tavern. Yes. Wagner had a word for that. <laughs> <laughs> When a performance encapsulates every aspect. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. I, mad respect. Mad respect. Oh, oh, oh there are oh. other portions of characters in my brain that are having slight freakouts right now. <laughs> are these people dancing in sync with Arthur? Is this a slightly <laughs> different problem? More strippers. That we're, <laughs> that we're about to face. <laughs> so there are zombies crawling out of the floor. Is this oh. expected or is this unexpected? I would go strongly unexpected, but okay, I. Okay, so this I isn't don't... like the midnight rush or something. No. Okay. Although having worked food service, I mean, like, I mean, I was gonna say <laughs> it's that time of night. Apparently. <laughs> it's that time of night. It is getting. Like, late. oh yes, it's between two and four in the morning. <laughs> it's not quite that late, but it's getting there. Um, while this is going on, you hear a scream from the side room. I'm sure she's fine. <laughs> uh, is there the scent of blood on the air? Uh, because I'm a cat. Blood anyway. Because you're a cat. Because, because I'm a cat. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> What'd you get? That's, that's a five on the die, so it's a nine! So apparently, Arthur is also affecting the smells in the room. All oh, you're getting God. is hot, sweaty lumberjack. Uh, um, uh, it's a Tuesday. It's mm. <laughs> 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 a certain uh, perfume. Uh, I mean, the, yeah, no. The bride may or may not be making out with the incubus. That is fully, like... Of course, she especially should. if she is not <laughs> excited about her wedding, then like this is Bridgie's just like mm hmm mm hmm yeah that would be a thing that would happen. Um, uh yeah, but in that case, then Bridgie will totally be like, oh no yeah that's fine, just right in the middle of the room it's okay. Also, when did we get? To did you summon zombies? And she looks at McQuacken. <laughs> no, not that I know of. Uh, tell you, sometimes I think I'm too old for this. You should. Uh, how about uh, you go talk to them and uh, see what they want? What, the zombies or the demons? Oh, uh, no, I was going to take care of the zombies. Oh. If you will take. Or, no, no, sorry, other way around. I'll take care of the demons this time if you will uh, uh, talk with the zombies. You know, maybe <sighs> break out into a dance number or something, see if they uh, move along with you. Ah. Uh. 
fine. <laughs> uh, so Jackson's probably hears the scream, uh, looks at Cecil, and says, uh, uh, this lady likes, um, oh, elvish sunbeams. And, uh, Starts heading towards the scream because screams usually equal mess, and then notices that there's like a zombies puddle. ripping holes in the floor and dripping puddles underneath them. Oh, oh I was gonna so take rude. care of the wet person's puddles. That oh, that's been that's legitimate for. as well. Uh, so yeah, he he gets distracted by that and forgets about the screaming and starts mopping up puddles. The zombies are attacking your patrons. In case you were yeah. Afraid. That is oh. what my next question was. Um, yeah, all right. I'm gonna I'm a pop over here, and um, I would like to, uh, you know, do a do an angry sea lizard eldritch blast. <laughs> Roll a big lizard magic. Oh, get some of that nuclear explosion going. I would love to. <laughs> That's a six. <laughs> it's a big target. Roll damage. <laughs> Oh, how? D100. Yuki. Uh, very casual uh, that D100. <laughs> would be... That's, that's just a, that's just a one, right? <laughs> is it a, it is a one and a zero, or is it two zeros? It's two zeros and a one. So it's 100? Yes. Yeah, yes, zero. that's 100. Oh. I'm pretty sure. Is it I thought it was the other way around. I thought three zeros. I thought straight zeros was one hundred. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's just a one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Then yes. Both one and one hundred are fantastic results. Um. So <laughs> you go to fire an eldritch blast, and instead you summon an insight. You hit the zombie, and it can now speak three additional languages, which I'm going to choose common, elvish, and dwarvish. A free uh -huh. education for all. For, for 1d10 days. Wow. Yeah, I really thought it was gonna, you know, blow up. I don't you know. It looks at you like, I, I understand now. You've increased its intelligence as well to be able to understand the languages. Do you... Are you trying to eat my... My... Are you, are you trying to eat a person? I, mean, I, I was, but why have a brain when you can have a liver? Do you have any liver here? Do you serve liver? Um. He steps over to a table and sits on the floor cross-legged next to it. I got sardines. Yeah, I that, that says sardines. that sardines have lizard or livers. I shall have I some sardines. Know. Sardines sound lovely for this time of night. Okay. I will be getting that zombie some sardines. <laughs> that is a phrase and that also, I don't think anyone expected us to be saying Googling tonight. Googling whether sardines have livers. <laughs> oh, come on. After the incubus stripper, I feel like nothing should be a surprise. <laughs> okay, but is an incubus stripper really a surprise? Touché. <laughs> Sardine anatomy. <laughs> they do have livers. Yeah, yeah they do. <laughs> Sardine anatomy, hurdy gurdy tuning. I said we're really educational, guys. <laughs> Did you know the cashews come from a fruit? <clears throat> um, the rest of the zombies are still attacking your patrons. Um, okay, Bridget, Jack what are you doing? Oh, Jax. Jax first. You jumped in first. Okay. Uh, Jax uh, uh, looks at this guy, uh, taps him on the shoulder, and says, You need to quit that. I don't like. Uh, having to clean up unnecessary messes. What are you rolling? Well, I take it that he's not going to really respond to that because he can't speak the language. Yeah. Ja Jax would uh, attempt that first off. And then I'm going to say that uh, he will roll a that'll buff out to buff himself out as, like, you see his muscles. Uh, <laughs> Just like tense up and be like, I said, I don't like cleaning up unnecessary mess messes and hit him with his mop. All right, so I need a I need a that'll buff out check. That is a six because I rolled a two. Please add six to your athletics check. 
Okay, so an athletics check then? Yes, plus your modifier, uh, plus so your that battle would be out. 20. You clean clock the zombie into the fireplace. <laughs> the other zombie's just looking on in amazement and slowly scurrying towards a window. Thank you, sirs. And he uh, gets down and starts putting wood planks back on the floor. And uh, uh, does his... Uh, uh, I have some of that to uh, contain some, like, glue. Yep. yep. All right. So he starts gluing wood panels back together. Excellent. Um, Bridget, mm -hmm. what are you doing? Uh, what did I just walk into? I mean, oh, I realized Oh, they're sacrificing her. She's tied to the table. There's a spectral knife floating above her chest. It's a whole thing. Um, Brigitte uh, pulls out her pistol and uh, shoots her version of an Eldritch Blast, essentially, mm -hmm. at a uh, said ceremonial knife. Very nonchalantly, as if she's had to do this a million times. <laughs> Give me a D100. It is a Tuesday. I mean, you know, opening night. Oh, with this again. Pew! Whoops. Um, uh, that is a forty-three. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So, attached to the, um, your gun, when you pull it out of your pocket, you're able to mm -hmm. easily shoot the dagger away. Mm -hmm. like, that's not even a thing. Absolutely. Is, um, a item that I'm putting in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> this is a small wooden horn. Uh, most excellent. Uh, yep, it, she, okay, so, uh, to, after shooting it with a sigh as she feels and some sort of- like, hey, ruin mm -hmm. our fun! Mm -hmm. We're trying with... to have a birthday here! It's his uh, 748th! You gotta celebrate your 748th with a sacrifice! No, that is the 746th. As she pulls out uh, uh, the brass bugle to her lips um, as she starts to back out of the room. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and, and yeah, immediately with a very, very uh, imperfect <laughs> through this um, um, brass bugle, uh, would you consider them as patrons to be allies right now? <laughs> Mick Kraken is. Okay, yes, but she's blowing this as she's moving through the door. So would you consider the demons to be um, allies as they are also Probably. patrons? Okay, then I would like them to make a DC 10 wisdom save. That works for me. <laughs> 17. Um, they all failed. Uh, as she is backing out of the room, obviously, like, like intending for them to have to try and come uh, do said thing to her. No, they all just cover their ears. Oh, sad day. Uh, Alright, fine. If she sees them covering their ears, then uh, she will continue to... Uh, actually, then she will come back into the room <laughs> doing it again. Um, Karina, and, would and, you like to read the item for the audience that you are using? Uh, okay, so uh, it's her apron of holding, um, when she reaches into it, she pulls out something random. It is called the Horn of Annoying Proclamations. This brass bugle compels its wearer to raise it to their lips and announce their companions' passage through any sort of doorway or portal with a loud and poorly performed fanfare, forcing all allies within earshot to make a DC 10 wisdom save or be compelled to cover their ears or slap the horn blower. Obviously, Brigitte was hoping for the slapping because, like, you know, I'm a cat, so I should be able to be fine with that. Um, but if they're just going to cover their ears uh, while she steps back into the room uh, using said brass beagle, she will march her way over to uh, the sacrificial lamb and essentially uh, <laughs> pick her up and throw her over her shoulder to carry her out of the room. <laughs> Fair enough. And she will go, I will be right back with a more appropriate sacrifice. 
I'm bringing terrified. her. She will. She will. <laughs> uh, bring bring the the young lady over and put her down right here and be like, mm, yes, Monsieur, if you would be so kind, uh, this one needs a little help from you, and give him a wink. Um. Uh. So the there's summons a duplicate of himself. <laughs> Uh, uh, mm, mm, mm. Brigitte also looks that one up and down, and then looks back at the original as like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes. Uh, this one is uh, clearly an illusion. Uh, I mean, I feel like as a retired adventurer, she would realize that, but still, the, 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 she like gives him that, mm-hmm, I see you, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I see what you did. Uh, marches over to, uh, this zombie, who I assume not, well, actually... You know, Lorge Boy would be funnier. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, no. So she was gonna do one thing, but she's gonna definitely do the other. Um, I would like to use my flirt ability to flirt with said zombie to get them to follow her into the back room. <clears throat> Roll with disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> because I'm a cat, <laughs> apparently. Uh, oh my gosh, Dallas, that's a 14 and a 19, so, um, that is a 16. You. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, yep, nope, she's, she's like, you know. Apparently over McCracken. Uh, I mean, yes, well, McCracken's not dumb, he, he knows to move out of the way. But, you know, she's basically just do, she's sexually doing the, uh, uh Michael Jackson thriller into the back room. Um, the, uh, the, uh, zombie is cramming its way through the door. Uh, yes, Thriller, the sexiest of the Michael Jackson dancers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a zombie, Elliot. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> dun, 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 So, I mean, yes, obviously. Uh, yeah, no, she will, yep, t t here. And she will gesture um, to the Lord Zombie Boy that's attempting to make his way into the room. Here is a more appropriate sacrifice for your 764th birthday. I'm just saying that was last year. You should have done it. But, like, you know, call ahead next time if you want to do this sort of thing. Ugh. Fine. We'll sacrifice the zombie. Yes, of course you will. At least this one won't scream. And she goes back out. <laughs> it turned out that zombies do scream. Says <laughs> the narrator. <laughs> At least this one won't scream. Much like lobsters in a pot of boiling water. <laughs> As a, a reference Maybe that has seafaring it. folk. Uh -huh. Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Is it my turn? I mean, originally Brigitte told what you to take care doing? of all this, so like, you know. Uh, so how many zombies are left? There's this, this one guy. has been pacified. So you've got okay. this one, this one, this one, and this one. So how badass of a pirate is McCracken? Because I really want him to like shoot two of them in the head with his pistols and then try to decapitate the third with like his cutlass or something you have a skill called he's a pirate by the power vested in me that's an 18 an 18 that's a pretty badass pirate i tried are you gonna tell a magnificent tale while you do it Oh, do I not have to, like, roll for damage? No, there's no damage in this game. Excellent. <laughs> there is so only hurdy-gurdy. <laughs> the Kraken gives a wink to the patron that's being attacked, and he's like, it's fine, if you blow their heads off, they're no threat anymore. <laughs> and so he pulls out two of his pistols, he shoots the one in the front, splattering its brains all over the patron, and he sort of scurries around them very gracefully, shoots this guy in the face, and then dives towards this one with his cutlass out and chops his head off. Excellent. And then he winks at the thieves in the corner. <laughs> they <laughs> are <laughs> applauding. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. 
Nick Kraken. Um, yeah. I'm going to need a roll out of you, but I'm doing some math real fast. Okay. I am impressed yeah, with your speed. I only need a D6. That is most okay. excellent. That's a three. That's a three. Excellent. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Carry on. It's Jax's turn. Uh, uh. Oh, I thought you said Jackson. Um, Jax's. Uh, uh, Jax uh, will come over to this guy, uh, the zombie guy, not the patron guy. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, He's just gonna, like, try to, uh, uh, grab him by the arm to, uh, throw him out the front door. And I think just that was escort him to the front door? Is that the game here? Uh, kind of escort slash throw, like, very bouncer-like. I'm thinking a super promotable should I'm into cover super it. promotable. I'm into super promotable. That's a 16 for doing someone else's job as super promotable. Yes. <laughs> you are able to roughly escort the zombie out the front door. And the whole while, like, the zombie can't talk, but it's doing, like, the hands of, Hey, I wasn't doing nothing! I'm walking here! <laughs> <laughs> Don't care. Ruined floor. <laughs> And he goes and starts fixing up another hole. As you're uh, walking by this table, it laughs at you. The table? That seems... that checks out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is a like, Tuesday. It, it wouldn't be the first thing. Um, is there something wrong? And I take a look at my broom, because it's like the second time that people have responded to the broom or things i don't know if the table can be considered person are you looking at the broom or the table or I i'm looking at the mop because like people responded to the mop earlier and now there's a table laughing and i'm assuming that it's laughing at the mop because i don't know so so like, the mop thing earlier to explain it to the audience because it, it's funnier if i explain it was whoever um ate the pancakes developed a fear of a random inanimate object they could see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah, agreed. It brought me joy that it was the mop. <laughs> that, that is great. I did not pick up on that as a player. Um, a tongue comes out from the table and tries to grab Jax's ankle. This is not surprising. Okay. Uh... Uh -huh. Would that be like a survival or athletics to try to avoid? Uh, athletics, definitely. Yeah, survival's after I get eaten by it, yes. right? Yes. That is a nat 20. <laughs> hey -o! Uh, I, like, uh, flip over this mop handle. You've dealt with mimics before. How are you going <laughs> to deal with this mimic? Well, first off, I'm going to avoid its tongue by, like, flipping over the uh, mop handle. Nice. And uh, then as it, like, uh, goes around the mop handle, I'm just going to wrap the mop handle around and around the tongue and then just give it one good yank. The Try table to falls it. apart in front of you into a puddle of purple goo on the ground. Next time we're on the Where did we get goo. our furniture again? We're not going to that flea market again. <laughs> oh, I hate yeah, that, that was a bad choice. We, we really needed to think more before opening this. You well, know, I wonder if we ever thought before doing anything. I... That, that's true, too. <laughs> okay. I, I understand. You're not And wrong. he goes back to cleaning the floor. Table being broken is fine because it's a mimic. Like whatever, nobody cares about mimics. No one was sitting at that table anyway. It's fine. Yeah, there's been um, a guy there the entire night. Guy here the entire night. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 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 He's, having, he's he's seen worse at this he's point. He's a named NPC. 
I mean, like, Brigitte went and talked to him, but, yeah. you know, she's been busy preventing female sacrifice, alright? Like, I'm just feeding people sardines. <laughs> sea <really> pancakes. <laughs> sea pancakes on the house. Also, by the way, the Kraken is completely invisible now, but you can tell it's still there because things on the table are moving. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I hold out a single sardine in the palm of my hand and probably watch it lift invisibly into the air. Yes. Which, considering that it can't see, uh, we're assuming it can't see its own appendages. Like that's that's impressive. It is. It's probably used to swimming in relative darkness. I mean, the, I suppose. The zombie is trying to strike up another conversation with you, Cecil. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm into it. You know, one spends a lot of time thinking when they're dead. It really puts life into perspective for you, you know what I mean? I truly do not. <laughs> well, maybe you should give it a try. Don't bite me. <laughs> no, no, my biting days are behind me. A young zombies game, really, biting. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You thinking of, uh, retiring? I don't know, maybe opening up a bar? Wink, wink. No, zombies are one of the most underserved populations in the entire empire. Zombie bar would probably be good business. <laughs> Roll charm. I mean, like, why don't or you just become part of, gambler. <laughs> part of our crew? It's fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter because it was a nat one. <laughs> <laughs> You know it could be. Could I open your bar up to zombies? Uh, you know, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. We got we got kind of a we got kind of like a squid kraken lizard vibe going in here. I feel like zombies doesn't really fit. You really think it would throw the vibe off, not enhance it? I, yeah, I feel like it's it's warring with the theme. We're trying to keep it cohesive. But what about mimics? That was unexpected. That was because we bought cheap furniture. <laughs> I take it. No responsibility for that, even though I'm pretty sure I'm the one who pointed it out, because it had cool wicker siding. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All wicker siding now? <laughs> Beware the wicker siding. I figure it could open up and look like teeth. <laughs> Are the better to wick you with? Wick, wick, nudge, nudge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bridget, we're run, we're rolling back around to you. Um, I mean, you know, honestly, for an opening night, this seems pretty typical. Uh, you know, it seems like everything is uh taken. Yes, this this looks wonderful. Um. Uh, where? Wait, I totally. Jax, you like somehow slipped behind um Brigitte over there. Um, uh, Jeffrey, uh, darling, do you have uh something in that magical pocket of yours that is like a towel or? I, th we have a patron that is uh, extremely wet, I believe, not by her own choice, and I would prefer to be able to offer her something to wipe off with. Ah, uh, yes, I should have something here. Um, any fats in one pocket, any fats in another pocket, and then he reaches, oh, it was in my back pocket, and he pulls out a, a towel, oh, and being you know. a goliath, like, I think he can fit a decent sized towel into his pocket. <laughs> oh yeah, no, absolutely. This is why she asked specifically him for a towel because, like, if it's a Goliath-sized towel, it's just gonna. So first of all, you like hand it down to her and. Well, actually, because you're probably like eight foot, nine foot. Like Goliaths are usually really I tall, think aren't they? Usually like seven, eight. Okay, so yeah, yeah, no, like you, you would be within reach for her, but you're definitely still taller than her. Um, she immediately begins purring as you like hand this to her because it is so large and soft and fluffy. Mm. All right, okay, hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> Purr, 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 and, and as uh, the purring stops intermittently as uh, she offers said patron a towel. Uh, I am so sorry about that. You know, this is not the craziest thing that has uh, ever happened. Uh, uh, are you uh, okay, aside from being a little so mm, wet? 
I, I was mm? here one moment, and the next moment I was I was in the city canal. If if this individual seems uh uh acquiescent to it, uh Brigitte will begin like like doing that very like mm-hmm mm-hmm like listening to the story, like patting their face with the towel and just like McCracken shouts across the room, No refunds <laughs> 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 Oh yes, oh darling, I know the the city canal is like so one of the worst places to try and take a swim. I apologize for that, darling, and she's like and then trying, I, trying I sink because I'm wearing armor, and on, on the bottom I found like, like a, a whole hidden city full of, full of those things. Points at oh. Arthur. Um. Mm. <laughs> she I, I just it's kind of a mm-hmm, 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 and then the like the mouth opening, mouth closes. Mouth opening, mouth closes. Just like ah, uh, you know, maybe the canal is not quite so bad of a place to take a swim. I mean, like it couldn't have been completely off. It's still padding dry. Like, <laughs> <laughs> trying to mitigate said like those things. Oh no, darling, their name is Arthur. Uh, if you uh, are interested, I am sure that I could introduce you if you have not already met. All right. She takes the towel from you. Uh, I'll, I'll just finish upstairs. Okay, yeah, feel free to keep that with you. Yes, okay, bye! Next time, come back on a Wednesday. <laughs> Tomorrow's theme is Wacky Wednesdays. Please be <laughs> returning if you would like. As opposed more. to Trauma Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> it's Snackrafice Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> but sacrifice doesn't have the alliteration. <laughs> we have had enough trauma in our lives. <laughs> you especially with your Moby Dick Kraken, like, mm, I do not think we need to spread the joy. So the demons start leaving, uh, carrying various zombie parts with them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, There's thank one on the you. way out for curbside if you'd like. Jack wishes them all a good day and starts immediately cleaning up and says, Thank you for taking care not to spill near as much blood this time. Oh yeah, of course, we got you covered there, mate. It was a great party, great party. He's never gonna forget this one. Even when he's 7,082, he's gonna remember this one. Come back. Brigitte's like, tell all of your friends! We'll keep the pentagram for you. <laughs> That'd be great! That'd be great! And the group shifted to chaotic neutral. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, the bar was chaotic neutral. <laughs> I mean, were we not there already? Yeah, it's like, I feel like we've been there. For they a just picked up the zombie outside. Mm -hmm. It was curbside, right? Yeah, yeah it was cool. curbside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Party what we guy. offer. Curbside, curbside service. Chili's to go. <laughs> it's a snack refines for later. <laughs> the snack uh... that smiles back zombies. <laughs> 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 is it a smile or like a pained grimace? You know, I was really honestly, if I did it a second time, I'd be like the snack, the snack that munches back <laughs> zombies. It's true. It's true. Um, what are you going to do? Just like a pineapple. Uh, ac actually, Jax was looking for Cecil. Did he go to the bar though? This is very important. Okay. Uh, yes, he would have gone to the bar first and kind of like leaned over and looked down uh, uh, under the, bar's the counter. Sticky. Ooh. Ooh. That's, that's not good. Not good at all. Uh, <laughs> I can check. And he like reached behind and he's like, <laughs> the towel's gone. The, and the Jack say, oh. Yes, the bar is a mimic. <laughs> okay, just to clarify, is the strip show still going on? Yes. Okay. Nothing drop, stops an Incubus strip show. I mean, you know, and frankly, if it's entertaining, the bridesmaids, like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but also, McCracken is totally into this. <clears throat> I'm gonna guess the lizard is, too. Lizard is enthralled. Best day of its life. <laughs> <laughs> like, it did uh. not sign up for this, but it is here for this. Well, it's no other place that it could be, so, like, that's good. Funny, that's how I feel about the game. No, I'm kidding. 
<laughs> you did sign up for this. <laughs> it's true, I yeah. gave voluntary consent. I said, I yes, believe, I will do this. I, can, I believe the exact word I used was shenanigans. Uh huh. Um, mm -hmm. No, I I am always here for shenanigans, and so is Brigitte. So like, Jax, what are you doing about being stuck to the bar? <laughs> uh, does this guy have a drink in front of him at all? The elf next to you? Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna take that drink and shove it into the mimic. <laughs> Roll a one d one hundred. That's a 63. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. It's like, we serve drink, we serve food, we don't serve people. Uh, Cecil in the background doing that little, yeah, little bit of uh, hand uh, motion. Uh, yeah, the uh, ma muscle man. Oh. So, warning to those sensitive out there, this, this is a rather gross potion effect. Excellent. Oof. Bring it. What effect does it have on a mimic? <laughs> Catharsis <laughs> poison. A deep red runny potion. It tastes like bad wine. Upon <laughs> drinking, the drinker, drinker will sweat profusely, followed by intense vomiting, crying, urination, and diarrhea for 3d6 minutes. It is a Tuesday. You might want to take that one outside. If the drinker survives, they lose all emotional attachment for 2d4 days. I did I'm not know that gonna say it's a safe bet the mimic sweats itself to death. <laughs> I'm glad that I took that from our um, patron. Yeah! <laughs> uh, at that, uh, Jax will call over to Cecil and say, uh, I think this guy needs a, another drink, and I think I'm about to the point of the night that I'll need one of your bourbonic plagues. I can do both of these things absolutely with complete confidence. <laughs> you don't have a bar anymore. As I always do most things uh, with complete confidence. And the bar is confidence. pretty low. The, the yeah. bar is pretty low. What uh, wow. shady bottles do I have in the back? Oh, you've got all the shady bottles in the back. Okay, you great. I am full of shady bottles right here. Yeah. We have so much gold from our adventuring. We definitely have shady bottles. <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm, I'm like pulling yeah. them open. I'm popping the corks off, sniffing them, putting some back. Um, the and elf, then I'm gonna... the elf giving you that look of somebody who's been in medicine for 40 years and has seen worse things than this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like, yep. I would like a floating dragon. Drowned, if you don't mind. Uh, if it is floating, uh, it is... Never mind. No, 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 no. It's, it's like I did earlier with the loose olive, you know? You know. <laughs> uh, it's all about the loose olive. Because you know. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I will prepare uh, two separate drinks. Yeah, while, while she's making that, uh, Jax is, like, making back and forth trips, picking up pieces of the bar to take them outside. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna drop two D100 rolls in the chat. Yep, where's the... What? What's the floating dragon? Uh, 46. 46. And, uh... Whatever. Uh, the bubonic plague is or a 19. Burbonic plague. Burbonic plague <laughs> is a 19. Um, you got a spoiled potion of healing for that 46. Gain 2d4 plus 4 hit points and gain a randomly chosen condition for 1d4 hours. <laughs> Great. And what was the uh, second one? Uh, 19. Ah, yes. So, it's, it's dark red with, with chunks in it. Uh, Where did those come from? We do don't you, ask. Do you choose to drink it, Jax? Yeah, it's been a long day, and I'm used to, on our adventures, drinking whatever Cecil makes. So, what are you thinking right now? Uh, how there's still two more spots where zombies came up that I have to go fix the floors of. Because everyone within 30 feet of you can hear your thoughts. <laughs> oh, alright, fine. I mean, if you want me to help, I guess I can help. 
Yeah, I'll go point my glowing finger at a hole in the floor. <laughs> I'm terrified. <laughs> Please, uh, do never it, mind. Do just, it. Gonna, just gonna leave that. Just touch roll that some big, big lizard magic. It's another nat one. <laughs> no. No. Oh, roll no. a one d six. Oh no, one d six. Okay, let me get out a d six. Six. A six. It's a six. Perfect. Uh huh. I need a 1d4 roll. I may okay. or may not choose to follow it for those watching the stream and seeing what I'm picking from. Four! Four! Oh, that'll be, that'll be joyous. You say that. You say that, but like, you know, we haven't said that. Yeah, I, uh, I will say Cecil is delighted. A large <laughs> skeleton with a rather large mace on his shoulder and glowing purple eyes walks in the door. <sighs> Evening there, everyone. Can a god get a drink around here? Absolutely. Yes. And I start pouring whatever smells the strongest. Good, good. Then I'll invite my friends. Oh. <laughs> oh no, don't make that face. I mean, you know, if the, we are so popular that gods are going to show up, like, there is no helping us now. And they don't notice the dead zombies and mimics strewn all over the floor? Just, just, just clarifying. No, they don't care. Okay, okay, cool. They're chill. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> They mm -hmm. take the they take the table uh, right here that the invisible kraken is sitting at. It's one of oh. them sitting on an invisible kraken. That Basically, may or may not be a thing. <laughs> Brigitte would be like, "Oh, if you will leave uh, that seat empty, uh, it uh, is very important to the feng shui of the room." Thank you. The woman with lightning coming out of her eyes and a large hammer on her hip goes, "Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry." And sits in the seat next to it. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, now, uh, you all, you lovely, wonderful persons, what uh, might I be able to get you tonight? Uh, the skeleton is like, ah, oh, yes, and uh, you can call me Oswald. I will take a tipsy ladder if it's not too much trouble. Of course not. A tipsy ladder for the lovely Oswald. Uh, and for you? The hooded fellow next to him goes, I am Hayes. And I will take an elegant white lace, please. Okay, I you cut out, but I think you said Hades? Yes. Okay, excellent. Uh, uh, uh wonderful. Uh, the mysterious who does figure wants an elegant white lace, of course. Uh, and, uh, for you? The woman's like, I am Zorafina. <laughs> and I will take whatever you have that is the strongest. Ah, uh, well, we don't exactly sell me, but I will see what I can do. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> finger guns. <laughs> <laughs> she sees what you're stepping in. Ayo! <laughs> <clears throat> and then the one across the table is like, Hey, it's Alios here, the Thunderer, with a flex. <laughs> I'll take a spell book if you have it, tuned to witches, always gives a better flavor. Um, alright, and a spell book of the witches for uh, my mighty flexing god over here. Uh, is that going to be all for you? I can always come back later and uh, uh, after bring your drinks and see if there's anything else I can get you then. Hades speaks up. I heard there's good pancakes here. Oh, we have a special today, actually. They are sea pancakes. Can I interest you in an order of them? Yes, pile them on the table higher than the souls of the dead. Oh, I am sorry, sir, but our ceiling is not high enough for that. Uh, can I interest you in perhaps uh, the height of the soul of that individual over there? As she uh, points at Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, I like that. Mm, I try. All right, a, a, a tall order of sea pancakes for the mysterious hooded figure. A tipsy ladder, elegant white lace. Uh, well, we're not telling me, but I'll see what I can do. And a witchy spell book. Is uh, uh, that all for now? 
uh, Oswald speaks back up. Yes, that'll that'll be all. And uh, we do love the ambiance here. This is fantastic. Oh, you know, it was just kind of something that we threw together. You should see our back room. It has been a hot ticket for the evening. Let me know if you want in later. We may have to check it out. Uh, and Oswald flips you a coin that, like, skitters around in the air erratically before landing in your vicinity. It is made out of a mildly crystalline metallic substance. And as a seasoned adventurer, you know it's practically priceless. Um, uh, yeah, god, god currency, god essentially. Currency. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. no, uh, she's pretty aware of what we're dealing with at the moment. Um, oh, you are much too kind. I will have to make sure that you are very well taken care of this evening. Uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> the zombie starts go. having a philosophical talk with Alios. I figured, I assumed you were speaking with Hades, but like, Alios is a good choice, dude, my dude. Uh, that's a phenomenal choice. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, bridesmaids and um, Arthur are now leaving together. Of course, as they should be. Yeah. Should. Uh, do, as they pass her by, because it probably happens relatively the same time that she's turning around and going, uh, she will give Arthur a wink and a wave as he, and like that, like, like, the, the what is the phrase that I'm trying to think of? The very, the very, the very dude head nod, where you, but it's the back one, where you're like, mm -hmm, uh, yeah, I mm -hmm. see you. Uh, as, as the she goes nod. the other way. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm I see that. Mm -hmm. no, that's how we say hi to people in California. It is. I mean, it is. yeah, I was, I was trying to think what that's called, but like, that's really, it's just the reverse, like, it's like head, would you like head tilt bob? your head back a little aggressively, yeah, and then you the, like, little, little chin, little yeah, chin, 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 bob, the like, chin action. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I see you. Mm -hmm. California handshake. Yes. <laughs> Especially in pandemic times, it's a rather reasonable yeah. hand handshake, I would imagine. Uh... Uh, you know, and I was really starting to enjoy all of those lights. Hmm. Uh, Cecil, I have an order for you. Oh, well, okay. Oh, uh, that's a lot. Um, can I put you on pancake duty while I mix drinks? Because you know what I'm better at is mixing. The pancakes, I know, but I'll go and mix the pancakes for you. <laughs> yes, it will be fine. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Dallas, just, just because. What, what is this? In, as she's passing by, Brigitte sees this person. And I think that's the, probably the one person that she hadn't gotten around to before literal hell broke loose. Um, how is this person doing over here? She might make a dip over here really quick and be They've like... They've been nursing mm -hmm. the same mug of beer since they got here. Okay, I mean, if they look like deep in thought or whatever... wide-eyed fascinated. Okay, most excellent. <laughs> uh, Brigitte will... At the entire scene. Uh, actually, as Brigitte goes by, she will definitely be like, mm, you should come in on Wednesdays. <laughs> They're wild. <laughs> Wacky, Wacky Wednesdays. <laughs> okay. Uh... I have rolled all four drinks. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna I'm take them over to that table full of gods. Uh, uh, Brigitte would have definitely, like, if she knew that you were going to serve them, she would have told you which drink belonged to whom, because waitress. Yep. <clears throat> um, uh, all right, for you, uh, Sir Oswald, I believe, uh, I have a tipsy ladder, and the number on that is 65. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> A black potion filled with flecks of green tastes like rotting apples. Upon drinking, gain immunity to all negative effects that would be obtained by a substance entering the body for 1d4 days. As, that feels appropriate. <laughs> as Oswald drinks it, you can see it because, like, he's just a skeleton. Right. And he's like, ah, tastes like home. <laughs> That's fair. That's the goal, and I finger gun him. <laughs> uh, all right, and I got an elegant white lace for Hades. Here we go. It's a fifteen. It's a fifteen. 
What does it look like when you kill a god now? <laughs> <laughs> um, he looks at it, pokes at it with a bony finger, and it crawls out of his glass, and it's a little water elemental on the table. Did you just serve Francois to Hades? <laughs> yes. Hades Francois. starts playing table table um, football with it, where you hold up the goalposts and you click the paper. It's actually yep, our yep. mascot that is just making friends with the god of death. Don't worry about it. It's Bye. just the, uh, the little morph from Treasure Planet. <laughs> Considering Brigitte is from the plane of water... Yep. <laughs> it, is, it really is probably something that is like legit, like their mascot that they've had on the ship. Oh, it's actually just morph. Um, strongest thing we have for Zorafina. I do have a ninety-one. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. <laughs> it's just moonshine. <laughs> you know what? It sure it's is. <laughs> Zorafina takes the mug, slams it on the table, chugs the whole thing throws it where the bar used to be. I will take three more of those! <laughs> Alright, Thor, I'm gonna need you to calm down. <laughs> Another! <laughs> You're so right, you got great taste. Alright, last one. I got a spell book tuned to witches for Elios! In it's the house! 18. It's a what? 18! Did I hear 18? 18! Um, so I'm just going to read this one. The thick yellow potion twists and moves of its own accord. The fluid inside will actively try to avoid being drunk, clinging to the inside of the bottle. It's actually a tiny ochre jelly. So Elias produces a fork from somewhere and starts stabbing at it and eating it. I'm yeah, not. this is the stuff. Which is, they're, they don't like to be drunk. <laughs> to be fair, being stabbed is not being drunk. <laughs> this is true. We're not resistant to that. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna go dig around for some more moonshine. <laughs> Good luck to me finding it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you've got gods that you're entertaining and are paying well. You've more or less dealt with the zombies. Everyone more or less else, is a word for it. <laughs> everyone else has left. Uh, there's only one mimic you didn't find. Um, I feel like this was a good opening night. Same time tomorrow? <laughs> I mean, you got to stay tuned in for Wacky Wednesdays, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tanner keeps talk trying to talk me into doing Wednesday one shots. <laughs> uh, yep, he can't do over the weekend. He works uh, being an actual bartender, nonetheless. Yeah. <laughs> Be very disappointed by my performance here tonight. <laughs> no, nah. this was hilarious and amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're yeah, thank you, you for thank running. You. Very funny. I apologize for, for nothing. <laughs> for instigating the shenanigans, as any good GM knows how to do. You just gotta, oh. you just let him go. You just kind of freely let him go. All did right. you say you let him go? Uh huh. I did. In fact, yeah. Oh. Did you say that he's good at rolling with it. Ah. Uh, no. Mm. All right. I I feel like it's safe to say that we definitely lost money tonight. <laughs> uh, uh, not that the gods are paying. Oh, nah, yeah, god payment. <laughs> true, god payment. God pay. Pay. Yeah, with that money, we could just burn this dump and start another place. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's our secret. It's always a different building every night. Duh. I wake we up just and just break in and man. murder the previous bar owners and take over for the night. <laughs> I mean, as retired adventurers, we probably have enough money to do that, right? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, I think really next time we should have the pentagram built into the table to begin with. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really does improve the ambiance. <laughs> Brightens up the room a little. All right, oh, I'm gonna man. give the sign off, gang. Well, that's all for tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll keep you updated on new one-shots as we schedule them. If you like what we're doing and you want to support the show, go check out our Patreon. 
If you'd just like to give us a tip, we will link Venmo and PayPal in the description of this video on YouTube. Have a good night, everyone. Wash your hands. Stay safe out there. We Bye. love you all. Bye. 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 Bye.